All right, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Welcome back. We're slowly getting everything put together here. Let me let me just let me just put everything together here real quick. Make sure we can see the game. Bam! There we go. So we can take a look at the glory that is the land that we have left and the tiny bit of time we have left for us to try and take all of this land here. Oh my goodness. Hello and welcome, everyone. Hello and welcome, everyone. How is everyone doing? How are you doing, Bryce? How's it going, Carcinogen? How are you doing, Beard Whiskey? How's it going, Badger? How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Hey, Shilling. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, had to go get my hot water and whatnot. It was important. I needed it. I needed it. All right. So as as per usual, as 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 is always, totally on top of everything. Don't don't you worry about a thing. Here you go. The vote is up. It's time. Uh, nope. Dark Souls is not on the list. Not this time. Not this time. Uh, since we're already doing a a third person y medieval y ish ish isk esque game, for, as we're playing for Bannerlord, but. Probably next run. All right, jump in there. Remember to vote for every single game you're interested in. If you're interested in all the games, choose the one game you're least interested in and don't vote for that. Um, let's see what we get. Uh, the vote will be going for essentially a week, so do not worry. How are your characters uh, that you've named? We'll take a look at them. We'll take a look at them, absolutely. Uh, let's just make sure all this is up and running first. Let's make sure we have everything. Everything is looking snazzy. Angry no Dark Souls? Don't worry, Shilling. It will get back in there at some point. Just not yet. Not this round. Not this round. Because uh, Dark Souls didn't win... I think it was the last... run? Or two runs ago? It didn't get that high on the list, so we, we left it out. Um, so and so we've got a couple of others in here. Some ones that have never been on the list at all. So I want to see if we can get them in there. Let's go ahead and make sure everyone who's not hanging out can find it on the discord the link is now also in discord so that if anyone doesn't swing on by during today's stream or whatnot uh they'll be able to see it there uh so the the votes are already off on a, a big old race there bam just look at that and it's already we've got uh three of them are already really winning <laughs> two of them are already a little sitting behind uh why six stream already sold out is it Did someone already use it today Oh my goodness! Yes, <laughs> Patrick, you already extended, you already said the stream. There's there's an arbitrary 15 minute delay on there for reasons, um, or 15 minute cooldowns. So you have to wait 15 minutes before you can do it a second time, for arbitrary reasons. I think I I think I think my original reason was so that no one could like come into chat, just dump down a double uh double extended and disappear the darkness. Um, I don't know why I shouldn't let that happen either. I don't know. Uh, is there a... So, we're at... Oh, we're not involved. Okay, good. I don't want to get involved. Good luck on that. Right? Ultra Holy War. This is... He wants to go take England. I don't want to get involved. <laughs> we have to go and grab as much of this land as we can before time's up. We have to go as quick as we can. Uh, you feel called out by that one, Shilling? What? Really? Nah. Nah, uh, remember, it's, uh, really, I just put the top five games I'm most interested in currently on that list. Dark Souls is definitely still on that list, and it's not just only one of the Dark Souls games. I'd like to play a bunch of them. Um, so we need to take a look. We've got truces with these guys, truces with these guys. Who do we not have a truce with? We don't have a truce with you. Uh, we can't do Kingdom Wars. We can do Duchy Wars, and I think that's really what we're going to be stuck with, to be honest. Are the named characters doing? Actually, yeah, I was going to take a look at that. Play Dark Souls with you? What? No. No, Shilling. No. It must it must win a vote. It did, but it did, I think it got like third place last time it was up for a vote. Um I think. Which is why it's not on this list. Did I just take all of this? For Duchy, I can take all of the territory? No, this is it's gonna be a pain to try and take all that. Why start with XCOM 2, not XCOM 1? Um, because we don't have to do things in direct order, and uh, people showed more interesting XCOM 2 than XCOM 1 when I brought up the... when I when I mentioned the game. That's the reason why. Mm -hmm. How are you, doing, Zach? Welcome, welcome. That's, that's, that's the reason. No other reason. <laughs> Can we not fight these guys for anything else? 
Why can't I fight them for like any of their territory up here? For a holy duchy war? Seriously? Can I do conquest for anywhere else? Okay, I can conquest for elsewhere. Yeah, because this is a much bigger chunk of land. Uh, so I could do XCOM 2 with Star Wars mod or something? I don't know. Uh, I mean, generally speaking, we don't do mods starting right off the bat with a brand new game. Uh, I like to play the game uh, as the developers intended. All right, so let's go and start chunking in from the north here. Actually, can we actually just jump in here and take this guy? Oh, we can vassalize him. Yes. All right, we already know exactly what we're doing. I didn't notice we were barely touching him. I'm just going to jump right in here. Okay, Grand Holy War, do you wish to join anyway? Yes, attack anyway. We want to make sure we're not in this. We're going to withdraw. Um, yeah, I don't care. We're withdrawing from that. I'm not joining in. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be in that. We have more important things to do. More important. Develop, developers intended mods, though? Oh, they did. They did. Yes. Uh, I'm sure a lot of them do. Uh, but I still want to jump into games and uh, experience them the first time the way it was originally intended by the developers themselves, as opposed to as they originally intended by the developers to have random nonsense being created and us playing that random nonsense. That's all. Uh, how long is the poll open for? The poll is open for almost seven days straight. Uh, almost full seven days. It's open until three hours before the stream of whatever game wins. So I have some time to install the game, for example. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, you feel called out on that one as well? <sighs> no, no worries. Don't think about it. Don't think too hard. You're good. Um... Uh, Mods are really important, and I think they're good, especially for the health of a game long term. But I always want to try it out um, in default first. Uh, what if after Conan, uh, you went and did Dark Souls for the full trilogy? Nah. <laughs> no. Nope. I don't know. We'll see. Nothing, nothing set in stone. The thing is that this is the this is specifically. Don't forget, this is specifically the reason why when uh, when Bryce asked yesterday what games are going to be on the on the vote list, I said I have some ideas. I'm down to 15 choices, but I don't know for sure because it's all made last decision. It's all it's all last last moment decision there of me being like, okay, yep, no, these are the games I'm most interested in right now. Those are just my top five. And you guys are up to uh, deciding the rest. How are we looking on these, by the way? Do this thing a refresh. Ooh. Very interesting. So one of them is in the lead by two. Then the next one is only in second place by one. It could change. We never know. Down to 15 choices. You like this? You like how that's said casually? Well, that's because I've, like... So, you know how, like, in auditions and whatnot, they do, like, audition everyone, and then they audition, like, the top, like, 30, and then the top five, and then one person gets the job? That's essentially what I did. Well, brush spirits. The man said brush spirits? Yes, we worship the brush, brush spirits in this game. Um... Beard Whiskey, do you remember the names of your characters? Because if so, we can go take a look at them. Let me go ahead and pull up the name list here, too, so that I can get this correct. So I can go ahead and get this all prepped up here. Oh, let me go get this name list up. Name list. go. Oh wow, Beer Whiskey, you're the only one on the name list right now. <laughs> There's only one name on there. I guess that's a good thing, because we're going to have to pause that um, that Channel Point Redemption as soon as we're done with the game, uh, and then refund any of the ones we didn't get to do names of. So that does make sense. It does make sense. Have you tried uh, every game out there? No, not yet. How many games uh, was before the 15? The total, the current uh, two playlist has 83 games on it um, that I want to play through. Uh, it currently has like I think I think it was 83 was the final the final count uh, when I went through it earlier today. So you know I took 83, 
because those are the ones we've talked about in chat or talked about in Discord. There's a Discord channel for uh, recommending games and the like. Um, go through all those, add them onto this big Excel spreadsheet, and then slowly work our way down to just the top five that I'm currently interested in. 27 more years to go? I know, Yu-Gi-Oh! We're nearly, we're nearly there. It's almost over. Which is why we have a vote, Yu-Gi-Oh! This is why we have a vote. So it's a vote for the new game that's going to be taking over this. We won't start the new game until next week. So either we'll finish uh, the playthrough today, uh, or we won't. And whenever we finish, we'll play Slay the Spire, as we traditionally do afterwards, uh, to fill in all the other time. Because I really am, I really enjoy that uh, roguelike. It's a really fun one to have, kind of as in-between. Uh, and then we'll swap on over. And what territory did we just earn? Why do I have too much? Where did this land come from? Who would like this land? Give it to a lower noble. Oh, really? That's... Oh. All right, I guess we'll hold the other one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm taking a move. Uh, can you please see the faith tenants? Yeah, absolutely. There they are. Human sacrifice warmonger, and we really should have picked something else because we never got a cannibal. We, I don't think we got a single cannibal, to be honest. I don't think we got one. I don't think we even got one. It's crazy. Uh, he doesn't reveal uh, the games on his list to play. I've I've linked a couple. Uh, I've leaked. Sorry, not linked. I've leaked a couple of um, a couple of screenshots of the list that had a few things on there. It was a while ago. I think like two months, a month ago. Somewhere in Discord. It was leaked. Uh, Dire Bunny would be able to find it. Um, Carson G might actually have seen it as well. Might have seen it as well in the Discord. Um, but yeah, I had it in there. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Bryce. I don't think we're going to be playing that game. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's right. We're aiming to try and get all of these. If we can get this last one unlocked before this big man here dies, uh, we can get an, uh, we can unlock an achievement because we'll all have all 27 out of 27. However, I don't know if he's going to make it. He's 83. <laughs> His health is poor. And he's 83, so we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Where's the rest of the territory I need to go conquer so I can come over here next? Did we, we haven't even fought this guy yet. Oh, actually, we can just go fight them real quick. That'll get us the win. Let's go fight this guy. Go track him down and take him down. Uh, how do you get cannibal? You don't even know where uh, there was a trait like that? Yeah, I, I saw and I got really excited uh, and I wanted to get the cannibal trait, but uh, I have no idea how you get the cannibal trait. So that just ended up being a wasted tenant, really. Uh, I was really hoping for it, though. I thought it was going to be really cool. So round one has X, uh, X many games, you assume. Uh, two has about 15 and three has five. Yeah, that's more or less how it works, Badger. It's more, more or less how it works. In the past, there have been like 20 games in round two, but uh, I, I try and bring it down to 15, so then I only have to pick uh, one third of them as opposed to a fourth. It's a little bit easier to choose. But again, this is why you guys have the hard. You guys have the hard part. You have to. You have to vote and decide who wins. That, that's up to you. I'll let you guys take care of that. Uh, nope. You know they're all alive. Uh, they all have. Right? They all have titles. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure uh, Beer's Whiskey, I'm still I'm sure some of them are still up and running. Ooh, here we go. Nice. Very nice. Uh oh, good. Our child. Uh son of a, a child of a concubine, but Mandaheim, the unstoppable, is born. Just like that. And uh, with a name like that, there's really only way, one way he's going, right? <laughs> get this man. It's gonna get this man to be martial. Get a, a martially focused man get in here. Um, if XCOM wins, can we redeem Zelbux for you to change soldier names? Uh, we'll probably end up doing that. Yeah. I don't know how fast we'll be rotating through soldiers if we're playing XCOM. Uh, so the the cost for names will probably have to go way up. But um, yeah, probably. So we'll beat them. Oh my goodness, completely stack wiped them too. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, so they have now been forcibly 
joined into the nation. Uh, and also for Yu-Gi-Oh, because I don't know if you have the uh, the link here. Make sure you can see that. This here is the poll. And this poll is pretty much just going to be linked here all the time <laughs> for a week uh, until the until the vote is over. Uh, we're looking for 4K to get here, so we're not quite there yet. Because uh, this gives us what? Yeah, Powerful Vassals plus 5. is going to be really good. Uh, he's a prince of your empire? Yeah, he's a, he's the prince of the empire. Or one of, I think. I don't think he's the head prince, but he's in it. Yeah, he's one of the princes. He's not the direct line. Um, I think Princess A Smart Girl is actually the next head. Ooh. I don't know if I want her to be the head. Uh, I mean, we could technically have him do it instead, right? What's our inheritance law? We're back at primogeniture. Uh, bummer. Uh, we could try and we could change it to Ultima Genitor instead, and I kinda am leaning that way. She's 64. <laughs> she's she's kind of on the old side, and she's also got a dwarf. She's a dwarf, and this guy is a leper. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna we're actually yeah, nope, he's yeah, congratulations, Beard Whiskey. Uh he's in charge because good gracious, I'm not playing as her or her heir. That's really bad. Uh, Ultima Geniture it is. Let's go change that bad boy up. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Manaheim is in charge. Oh, my goodness. So that would have been really bad. I'm glad you had me double check that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. If you can be a giant, you can be a dwarf in this game. Absolutely. Uh, but the real thing is that then her, like, she's 64, and then it's a leper who's after her who's in charge. This is, ooh, not good. Age male preference to remove her from the line. Yeah, we could have done that, but going with Ultima Geniture is fine as well. Um, although, what, who would it have been otherwise? Ooh, no, 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 because we would have had inbred. And eunuch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dick Van Dyke is not doing well. He's not doing, he's not, he's not stepping up to the plate, that's for sure. Wait, being eunuch, can you not actually inherit? No, he can still inherit. Hmm. This, this is a man, uh, Jakob. Jakob would have been the one we want to have take over the Empire. Uh, but we can't. So, primogeniture, or ultimate geniture it is. <laughs> it works out well. Uh, you can't inherit, so you wouldn't have been in the succession line? Ah, okay. Well, Jakob would have been the one to go for. I was a little hasty on the, on the draw. That's okay. I think we'll live. Besides, who knows? Um... Our, our glorious leader, Zaldor Zaldorian Zaldorius, might still make it the entire uh, 26 uh, years. Who knows? Let's see. Ooh, little, little Slim Shady and Shim Shady. Nice. Nice. Get some names in here. All right, let's get focused on us uh, expanding. We've got land to take. So let's go and grab all this tiny territory here if we can. Oh, so many counties. That's all I can take. I can't force vassalize this guy. But you, I'm sure I can't do that for you either. No, bummer. All right, uh, unless in which case we just go ahead and we'll just take uh, county by county here. Get one more here. Get one more in here. Do you have a big claim? Do you have a big claim? Oh, you have a big claim. Oh, for an empire. Sorry, <laughs> can't do that. Actually, uh, we can do a claim for the kingdom and not for the empire. And this way, we still won't get this one province, but we'll get all the rest uh, under her control. Where's this? Over here. Jeez, why does she own control of this? That doesn't matter. We'll take that war as well. We'll take that war as well. I'll take this war as well. That'll be a good war for us to jump in here and do. What about you? Can I do anything on you? Not really. It's no real good wars for him. So we'll instead hope that we can go ahead and do a vassalization war after we've won over here. Uh, with these four wars, let's go ahead and grab our troops. Let's move on up here and let's expand, expand, expand. Yes. Uh, what would happen to the line of succession? Uh, when did they become so sad? Uh, I think it's predominantly when we got a little distracted and weren't paying enough attention to our vassals, or to our uh, our family members. 
a little focused, a bit, a bit over focused on the uh, the final acquisition of the northeast of the world. Uh, Ruzbid, uh, we'll have to sort them out. And same with Mongolia. These ones are going to be the long, long shots for us to go take. Same with this chunk of the Byzantines. Kind of hard to kick them out. Is this actually not ours? I oh, know that is ours. Okay. The snake in the court. All right, that should be enough troops here. Uh, let's see, move it in. Get moving in. Let's start conquering. We'll start taking over. Let's start going. A religion check? We could do a religion check. It's not a bad idea. Some old boy. Ortho. Okay, what's going on over here? What's going on over here? <laughs> Wait a second. How are these guys orthodox? Go ahead and change that nonsense. That could have been really bad. These guys are still running as Siguk. Siguik. Bribe you off to make you 100% happy. 76% chance to convince. Get those two done. So that's those two. A section of old glory here. Is this you? Are you an old glory worshiper? No, you're not. Okay, so they're working on it. The Blood Father. Ooh, what a good title. What a good title. Okay, I think that's good for right now. Got Bori all over here. Ooh, our friendship blossom's good. Good, he's converted. And good, he's converted. Good, good. Uh, there's not too much. We're, gonna, we're not really going to fight for uh, religious change over here, to be honest. There's <laughs> only so much we're going to be able to truly muster out of that area. Let's go take this, and then we'll move uh, northwest from there. So off we go. Uh, plots being discovered, nonsense occurring. I'm 21 vassals over our limit, but I just, I can't be bothered at this point. <laughs> we have too much land. We have too much land. I just can't be bothered. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just, we'll conquer what we can. Oh, we only have, to, we, we only have 25 years of gameplay left. We need to, we need to focus more on expansion, more than on the, uh, proper ruling of such expanded territory, right? The motherland must be blurry. It's true. So we gotta get that orthodox out of here. That's that's the only real nerve-wracking piece. At least the others are, you know, um, old African religions. But the orthodox, <gasps> what, what nonsense is this? <laughs> we can't, we can't have such things in there. Let me get that out of there. Oh my goodness, that child became a very good one. Brilliant tactician, uh, as well as a couple of other good. Um, Helping rivals? Yeah, that's good. Uh, a couple of good combat stats. That's really good. No fighting in the family. Uh, become friends. Good. Uh, can I go and I intercept you? Okay, good. So they're going to attack us, and I'll swing up here and try and intercept them. A drinking companion. Ah, good. <laughs> Let us get wasted together. Good. Ah! Pregnant. We have a new, we have a new child on the way. Which might mean that uh, our current heir is going to be replaced. So hopefully they have good stats. If they have bad stats, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> we might just start disinheriting people left and right. We might just have to start disinheriting people like crazy here. Depending. So hopefully once we siege this, that'll be enough for a victory here. Looks like it will be. Yeah, it should be enough. Let's see, take this. Uh, we should reform the faith as soon as we can. Oh, no, no, we've already reformed the faith. Uh, we can't do it a second time. We can only do it once. The faith has been reformed. Excellent. All right, so she's taken over that territory. So now all we're missing from the place that we were just fighting is just this one territory. So we can grab that later. Uh, where is the next place for us to fight? We're fighting uh, Konda. And what is this? Is it a P or D? Uh, Pelham. Let's go over here to Konda, then. Grab this. What? Two? Nah, there's one barony. So we'll nab this one guy, and then we'll swing back around and we'll nab this one. This one's actually not in as... Oh, no, they own this territory here, too. Okay. That's fine. Punish for... Punishment for the nonsense. Oh, no, you're asking for yourself? Wait, okay, what are you saying? 
Uh, should we reform the faith as soon as we can, or somewhere in the middle, so your vassals can convert with us? Try and do it somewhere in the middle, so you can have some vassals convert with you. Also ensure that when you go ahead and you convert, uh, when you convert, uh, you want to make sure that you have gone down the religion, uh, you've gone down the theologian path. Because profit is in, uh, not profit. Icon? Which one is it? Wait a second. Wait, wasn't there one? No, this is it right here. Yes, this, this one, this one. Faith creation and Re reformation cost 50% less. You would absolutely want this one. So you need to get profit. It's, it's going to let you make a much, much better um, religion if you can do that, for sure. Uh, so you, def you definitely need that. Uh, you thought that tree was worthless? It is, except for exclusively uh, that. It gets you a lot of prestige. It lets you convert people pretty fast, which is nice, too. But uh, profit is just ridiculously important. <laughs> you kind of, like, need it if you want to keep going down, uh, if you want to go and reform. So it's just you have one person do it once during your playthrough, and then that's it. Imagine having to load uh, and save button for real life. Oh, my goodness. So if you messed up, you could just load a previous save. You almost forgot to visit your mom recently. Mom would have killed you. Understandable. But luckily, you had uh, you had alerts on, right? <laughs> that would be really interesting if you could... Like, if you could load... If you could, like, save and then load those saves... So here's a question, then, Bearded Whiskey. Are you alone, only allowed to have one save slot, or can you have more than one save slot? Right? Can you, ha can you only have one save slot or more than one? In this, uh, in this example of being able to quick save and quick load uh, in real life. Assault that. There we go. Quick assaults. Uh, we'll jump over. These guys just uh, helping someone? What's going on there? Okay. I'll just jump over here next. There we go. So put this, well, actually, we can spare me first. That. Uh, more than one save? Oh my goodness, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Make sure you don't load the wrong save, right? <laughs> Make sure you keep track of your saves. That sounds pretty crazy, though. You would lose yourself and not know which is the real and first time? Yeah, no, I agree. No, I agree. Uh, just your passage. I think you're right on that one. I, mean, I, I agree. It'd be a tough one to follow. Oh! <gasps> Oh, oh, I got excited, but then I realized he's only intelligent and comely. Yeah. But, he is a giant. We all know what we think about giants. We're always a fan. Uh, so he's the new heir of uh, of the Empire. Good old, good old Slim Shady is now the newest heir. Uh, ooh, got a grandson here. Perfect. So this means that both Slim Shady... And Shim Shady can both uh, grow up together. This means that they get to be playmates. Excellent. It's good. Exactly what we're looking for. Uh, one person's save comes at the cost of another's pain. Uh, like if you load the game here, AI gets beaten. Uh, beaten, but when you do it in real life, some other people will be harmed some way. Well, I mean, technically speaking, any decision you make benefits some and and pain others, yes? Right? Uh, so just because you're uh, saving, like, uh, loading saves and the like shouldn't change... It might change the number of each side. Some for the better, some for the worse, right? But wouldn't one way... Like, no matter what we do, any decisions we make is not the, the case, no? Well, let's go ahead and let's see if we can bribe her out of... And we'll we can bribe her for a plus 247 opinion. That's insane. We'll do the same for you. We're just going to bribe him. We, have, we literally have 37,000 gold. I don't know what to do with our money. So we're just going to bribe these people out of trying to... Oh, can I convert you? Oh, my goodness. Yes. We're just going to bribe these people out of um, all this nonsense. Actually, I think we're just going to bribe these people into converting. Who needs to use a hook? There we go. 100% now. 
Catholic guy. What if I told you to stop it and follow Bori? What if I told you to stop it and follow the Bori faith? I don't think I'm gonna get this guy to convert. We'll still try. Oh my goodness, we can pay them off that much? That's insane. How are we getting 220 bonus gift? I don't know how that's being calculated. But there we go. Everyone who's currently in a faction against us now loves us so much. Yeah, there's no other faction here. No, no uh, so we're fine on that one. Uh, like, try to rob a bank, and if it goes badly, whoops, accidentally reload your life. But also, Badger, now here's the question. What if you're not the only person that can do that, and you get away, and the guards quick sa uh, load their last save at the point in which you turn away to try and run? What happens when the two people have opposing goals and use, each use their save points to try and bust each other's goals? Then what? Oh my goodness, it's getting meta. <laughs> what happens then? Uh, can't uh, imprison you for a crime in the future? I mean, maybe. That's a movie right there? Oh my goodness, it really would be. That would, yeah, I you know what? That would be a really interesting, I mean, that would be like the end of, a, of the movie. That would be like the end confrontation. It'd be like the, the main hero person and the main villain person that we've been following the entire story of the, uh, of the movie both get their hands on top of one of these devices that allows them to quick save and quick load. Uh, and then we end up in like this really, really confusing time shuffle of them quick saving and quick loading. And if you have more than one save, that'd be really ridiculous. <laughs> Gotta re use reverse psychology there. Uh, whether guard will use it or not, you have to bait them. Yeah, I think that's right. You'd have to bait them into overriding saves. So there would have to be limited save slots or else that wouldn't work, right? Right? Otherwise, that just that, it wouldn't work out. Oh, nice, got some intrigue. Perfect, because we're because we're old and wise. Right, let's move up here next. Teaching that next. Um, Five D chess with multiverse time travel. What? <laughs> My goodness, Badger, that sounds insane. Oh, we died. He didn't quite make it. We were, how close were we? We were like two years or something off from getting that achievement, weren't we? So it looks like Slim Shady's taken over the kingdom. He's not the smartest boy in the, in the, in the shed, which is unfortunate. But, um, we need to get this sorted immediately because otherwise we're going to end up in the, uh, the whole issue of, you know, uh, mass revolts. Uh, we'll get you to marry us. Uh, all right, so we need to go and immediately deal with this. We we can't unpause. If we unpause, we could lose the entire kingdom here. So we have to be very, very careful. Uh, can I just go send... Oh, that's right. Our gift-sending skills have become abysmal. Um, let's see. 21 skill. Good enough. We can just assume that you're going to be the best one we can grab for now. Get bubbles in charge. Uh, let's go to the prison, and let's go and start executing people. Uh, oh my! The princess. It's not evil. We get a... Wow, yes. <laughs> yes, done. Let's get our dread up there. He's almost dead anyway, you know? We're just gonna help him out the door. Gonna help him out the door there. Uh, you follow Bori, you follow Bori. You, uh, and one more. So hopefully that sorts out the whole faction nonsense. Um, our troop count's now down to only 80,000, which is really bad. So that's gonna have to get sorted. Uh, we're not in charge of the kingdom. Why can't he extend the stream again? I used to wait a little bit. It should be open uh, soon, right? It was 30 minutes ago. Yeah, you should be able to. Roger, are you still not able to extend the stream? You should be able to at this point. It should be, should be allowed. Council members. Get them in here. It says it's still unavailable. All right, I'm gonna have to look at that in a second here. Let me let me get this uh, <laughs> let me get the kingdom situated here real quick, uh, and then we'll take a look at that. What's going on? Can I get a better. Yeah, let's get bubbles charge. All right, so I've picked the right one. 
We got bubbles in charge. Oh my goodness. We have no troops at our disposal. <laughs> wow, okay. We're gonna have to get that resolved immediately. Um let's go here. Here. Uh, over here. So we definitely want to give this away. Someone is of our culture, is of our religion, and is not a ruler and is content. Doesn't own anything. I'm in charge of that, sir. Okay. So that gave us a lot. <laughs> gave us a lot of troops back. Uh, and unfortunately, that means we'd have to drop more territory if we want to get more. But I don't want to. Um, so we're just going to have to live with that. Also, let's have ourselves. Looks like our skills aren't that amazing here. Uh, so we'll go stewardship focused. Uh, because we're going to need that stewardship. Uh, just so we can have our territory. We're going to need it for strength. Important. Uh, we can invite them in. That's fine. We need some prestige and the like as well. Uh, Holy War we don't want to get involved in. And our troops that are already raised, we can still use them in this fight. So that's good. Alright, so we do own the, the north. Okay, that's good. Where are my troops? Are there. Good. They're already on their way. Perfect. Um... I did chess with multiverse time travel is the first ever chess variant with spatial, dimensional, and parallel dimensions. What? <laughs> spatial, temporal, sorry. And parallel dimensions. Uh, it's the first ever chess variant with multiverse time travel. That's insane. That's a paradox where two different uh, save states oppose each other, uh, creating two different universes, which happen at the same time. Actually, that I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Uh, Holy War, you could just pledge money, yes? Ah, we could, but we don't need to. Oh, uh, we don't need to. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Why why can't you redeem... Why can't you redeem these uh, a second time? What's going on here? Oh my goodness, I've got such... Uh, there's a huge list of in invisible secret redeeming things you don't need to see. Okay, okay there we go. Scroll down to it. Took a second. Um, Yeah, it should have a... Yeah, it should be a cooldown of 15 minutes and can be two total times... Stream. Hmm. Alright, what about now? Give it another shot. See see if it's is it is it available again or is it still still not a thing that can happen? I think I might have fixed it. I'm not sure. You wanna make CK3 last as long as you can since it's the last stream? Yeah. We'll pro we'll, uh, not probably. We will come back to Crusader Kings 3 once there's DLC and once there's some really big mods out there. But we're, it probably won't be for months. Like, many, many months. Uh, because, again, I want to play a lot. There are a lot of games. We have over 80 games on our to play list. <laughs> we have over 80 games on our to play list. The only way we're going to get there is if we stop playing some games. Refresh and it still doesn't work. Kind of concerning that's not working. It, oh yeah, it does. I clicked on it too, and it's still and it won't let me do it either. Um, what if I? Tr hmm. Sorry guys. Sorry. I, this is actually the. I want to make sure that the bunch of channel points aren't like totally broken for some reason. Um. Okay. What if we just do this? That fix it? No, it doesn't. Really? Something is weird. Why is that? Yeah, I've only seen the record of one. Pause redemptions, unpause redemptions? Hmm. I'm not sure. That's really weird. <laughs> Badger, I have no idea what's going on with that. Um, what if we do this then? Does that work? There we go. That worked. That, that worked. Alright. 
The stream's been extended twice now. <laughs> okay, that worked. There we go. Uh, we'll have to. S I'll have to do some testing a little bit later and see what's going on. Uh, see if I truly fixed it or if it was just a temporary fix. We'll see then. Dump your points into the stream. Yeah. 24 hours stream confirmed? No, no, definitely can't. I do I do have to get up in the morning tomorrow to do work. So, you know. <laughs> nope, can't. One day I would like to be able to do it, but um, I won't be able to do that until I can change up uh, standard daytime schedules. Who are we still fighting? Fighting, we're still fighting Conta. Okay, so we'll go beat these guys up, then come back down here and siege this territory. I'll be good to go. We'll do that. There we go. Bam. Well, don't even have to siege anything, I guess. We can just take that. Bam. Victory. Oh, look at all that land. <laughs> Completely surrounding them now. Now they're in trouble. Now they're getting in trouble. Uh, what if you did an idle stream where uh, you just get to look at the map uh, with it paused in CK3 music? <laughs> I don't know. Enjoy the final moments of the map? I don't know. Nah, probably not. Um... But yeah, no. Again, we will be back. Like, I'm, I'm, I am a paradox game gamer for sure. Our, I'm just gonna swap this over. Actually, gaining troops right now. Um, our first ever game that we streamed, like you know, serious streaming as opposed to doing testing, was Crusader Kings 2, and we played a lot of that. Uh, I don't see us stopping anytime, anytime soon, because we still have Stellaris. We still have, um, we still have Stellaris. We still have EU4, and we still have some more Hoi4 to play. Um, I don't know if we'll ever do in Imperator Rome. I'm not, like, too interested in Imperator Rome, honestly. Um, oh, wait, I just need prestige. How do we get prestige? We make names. It's right. Gotta make some names. Oh, what's going on with factions? How bad is it? <gasps> oh, that's really bad. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay, this is really, really bad. I thought we had this sorted. <laughs> I thought we had this dealt with with all of our dread. Uh, we don't. By a long shot. Um, Alright, I have to go and give up some territory here. Oh, okay, yeah, we have to get rid of this. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of this. Uh, lower Noble can have this. We can grab this and toss this to some random person here. There you go. Person can have that. And Tara over here. We'll grant this to some random person. There. Okay. So now we're only off by two, and we're slowly, we're slowly gaining. Betrothed, good. She's got her diplomacy covered, uh, so that'll give us a big boost there. Uh, we're zero years old. We're slowly getting better. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. All right, so that should sort this out a smidgen. We have ten months for this one and eleven months for this one, and it's going up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Here's Elder. Aside from the video games, uh, what other things do you want to stream? Um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I would like, actually, you know, I do know. I'd like to stream Dungeons and Dragons at some point, but it's just not in the cards right now. Oh, I wanted Vassal War this guy, but we have to be, we have to get our Vassal points for that. Bummer. We we'll have to wait on that. We can start putting some people in jail, I guess. Um. Yeah, who plays D&D with cards? I'm sure there's a D&D card game out there somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure there's one out there. Um, but yeah, I would, I would like to I would like to play D&D on stream at some point. Uh, it'll be a while before that happens, but uh, that's something I like to do. I predominantly am the... Uh, I'm, I'm the game master, generally. The dungeon master, depending on what edition you're playing and what you feel the proper title should be. Um, I think it would be fun to do, but... I'll have to find time to, to do it because there'll be some prep and whatnot that needs to happen. And currently, I don't have a lot of free time because, again, most of my free time just goes into playing video games. And the only time I play video games is when I'm streaming. So, there you go. Let's get all these people in jail here, real quick, just to see if this is going to help uh, reduce the number of uh, rebellious vassals. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Um, if anything, maybe throwing them in jail will tell the rest of the world not to mess with us. Who knows? We will let some people ransom themselves out, though. If they've got enough, if they've got enough cash, ooh, 
Not you, though. You don't like us. <laughs> not you. You're not allowed to ransom yourself out. Uh, that's a bad idea. We don't want him out. Uh, nope, not her. Can try. Yes, you. Alright. Put you in there. Bite you. Yep, put you next. Uh, Alright, so let's go take a look at the factions again. So the numbers are coming down. No, they're not. <laughs> nope, nope. Nope, no, they're not. Um, yikes. I got, our, our ability to sway people is so abysmal right now. It's a lot of money for almost no opinion change. So we're probably going to end up in a massive kingdom-wide um, decline. Uh, kingdom-wide war here. For both liberation and for independence, this is going to be brutal. Uh, luckily, we have so much money we can just buy all the uh, all the mercenaries we can. Unfortunately, there aren't that many mercenaries we can grab. Uh, let's go and start dealing with our vassal limit. That'll at least bolster our troop count again. So we're just going to have to go do that. Uh, it's slow and tedious to try and get that done, but if we don't, we'll lose the kingdom or the the empire rather. And we've come too far to lose the empire now. No one else that's an easy 100%? No, no one else. Okay. Then the members can get married. Let's make sure they get married. Ma'am? It's 29? Really? She hasn't had a spouse? Or she hasn't been married at all? She's 29? We haven't had her married? Oh my goodness. Wasted potential. <laughs> she was supposed to get married a long time ago. Why are you 29 and not married? That is insane. Uh, you're supposed to be making the babies. Uh, we'll have you... Oh my goodness. Uh, here we go, this 19-year-old. He's not quite perfect, but we'll get there. Oh, it's our mother! Oh, that's why. That... That explains it. Okay. Alright. Because she was a concubine of our father, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, by age... Oops, daisies. So if she ends up having any other kids, we want to make sure that they are, uh, some good ones. A 16 year old. There you go. Chance of inbreeding, but that'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Alright, so let's go and start going through uh, some of our vassals here. They're only loyal to mer uh, to money. That's why you hire mercs. The hardest part about mercs, though, is um... that's not a lot of troops. One, two, four, seven thousand and change troops. <laughs> we don't really get a lot from mercenaries. Um,. We can, we can go and grab at least one Holy Order, so that's good. My goodness, we could probably just grab this one where they have, like, infinite armored horsemen. <laughs> but uh, you can only have one Holy Order hired at a time, so there's that. Uh, but we can't use that in these wars, which is the problem. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll do some finding secrets, and hopefully we can find secrets of people every two months to try and start having enough hooks on them that they're not allowed to be in factions. We'll see if we can get that going as well. Um, and then now let's go and sort out vassals. So let's go deal with up here first, because this will be the easy one. Uh, this is under this. This we can go ahead and make this. We need to get a whole bunch of uh, prestige anyway, so this works out well. So this works out well. Uh, grant you the title. We'll grant you this newly... Okay. Grant you this. Um, and then this is under this person's jurisdiction, which is yours, so we'll grant you this vassal. There you go. Okay. That brings that down, and it'll give us more troops. And that's the main thing, is if we lower our vassal limit, we'll get more troops. Uh, you're up next. This county is part of this duchy. I can't make the duchy. Why? Because they own the other duchy? Really? Okay. Uh, this is part of this duchy, which is part of this kingdom, which we also can't take. That's annoying. It's part of this empire, which is part of the Serbian Empire. Hmm, okay. Uh, well, we'll give it to you instead, then. Grant you this vassal. Which, again, we need to... Oh my goodness, I still don't have enough. So I need to drop my holdings. I didn't want to, but I'm going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to drop some of these holdings. Unfortunately. Uh, we'll grant this uh, by rank. 
I guess better yet. Can we just give that to our mother? Because if I grant... Okay, so I'm curious. If I grant this to her... Her heir is not me. Captain America gets it. That's fine. Try and convert our mom. Let's give her some money. Try and convert her. Okay. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll grant her... What? Kebby as well? Give her Kebby as well. Okay, so now we're within our within our numbers. We should be able to start recruiting a lot more troops. So that's good. That'll sort that out. Slowly but steadily, we'll get there. Uh, factions, we have 10 months. I just want to make sure we're not uh, at the wire yet in 8 months. That number is going down. Okay, so let's go focus on our vassals. Granted, we just got some because we just gave our mother territory, which is it's a little counterproductive, but it is what it is. Um, this duchy here, what can we do with this duchy? This duchy is part of this kingdom, and this kingdom is already owned by this guy. In which case, we can grant him to him. Okay, brings us down, and it'll give us more potential growth for troops. Uh, where, my goodness, this is where we're having problems. Okay, this one here, this one's next. Uh, this one is within this territory. Perfect, we can go make this duchy. In which case, we can go ahead and grant you uh, this duchy. Uh, and grant you... All right, you already got that vassal. Okay, perfect. Okay, 21. Okay, so now we're continuing to rise. Uh, is there anyone else we can find floating around that we can... Uh, this duchy is part of this, but she owns it. Too bad, so sad. We're just going to give that to someone else, I guess. Let's give it to you. <laughs> go have this vassal. I can't afford to keep them up, so here you go. You can take that. Um, further increasing our number. I mean, it really doesn't... Until we get down to, like, 15 or something, dropping vassal numbers isn't actually helping us much. But we really need to do it if we want to deal with factions. Our dread alone is not keeping us out of trouble. Uh, we need more diplomacy. We want to do better, but we're already doing the best we can. Up to 22 opinion bonus. We can't really do any offensive warmongery wars until we get some of this sorted. We just have too many kingdoms. I mean, that's honestly the biggest issue, is we have too many kingdoms. And I can't start revoking kingdoms, because then we'll have... Some inner wars. Oh, is this land? Oh, it's impassable terrain. Okay. Hmm. Here's another duchy. This one's part of Mongolia. Um, so instead, I guess we'll just give it to these guys. Actually, that land. Down to 19. Uh, is there, like, any other duchy territory I can drop? I don't think so. And then down here, there's not much. It's just this. She's directly to us. Yeah, which is owned directly by us. So it's not really helpful. We don't really, really want to give that territory away to somewhere else. She's just borrowed. We're, we're letting her hold on to the territory for us. There's not really anything else we can do to bring down our uh, vassal limit uh, as it stands. We're nine months out. Um, what is it? 13%? We need a much higher percentage. 33%. This guy here is the one we need to go and sort out. Hmm. You know, gift him a tiny bit of money. Hopefully it's... <laughs> do we, give, do we get, like, nothing for that. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to let some of these wars appear. I don't think there's really going to be anything I can do about it. I think we're just going to have to let these wars happen. And we're just going to have to do that for the remainder of our fight, as opposed to... Oh my goodness, this bug needs to get fixed. It's really annoying. Uh, we'll just stockpile up some extra cash, so you just don't have to worry about it. But um, there, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do to deter them from trying to break free, because we're a child. Because we're a teeny tiny baby. Paid him off. Paid him off. See if there's like I'll just 
I'll pay off everyone in here for whatever, you know, nine points of opinion I can get. I just hope that's going to be enough for us to <laughs> convince them to, to stop it. Who knows? Anyone that doesn't join is more power we still hold ourselves. Uh, and that power we hold ourselves is going to make it easier to crush them. We'll be able to crush these revolts no problem. I'm not worried about that. I'm sure we'll, like, we're going to have plenty of power to do so. And they'll end up having to worry about being coming bankrupt. We won't. But still, it'd be nice if, we, if it wasn't an issue. Yeah? It's nice if it wasn't an issue. Uh, criminals. Is there anyone else we can try and imprison? Nah, probably not. Some you out. Alright. Time moves forward. Let it run. Let it run. Oh, uh, we almost have enough for that, uh, for the opinion. Actually, we need seven months. In seven months, we can go ahead and get the thing that gives us a plus five opinion to our power, to powerful vassals. Any in here are pow powerful vassals that are super angry at us because they're powerful vassals and they want to be on the council? I guess the easiest way to find our powerful vassals would be from here, yeah? Alright, you... I'm just gonna bribe each of our powerful vassals. Just in case they're... I don't know if they're in a faction war, but if anything, just try and keep them out of a faction war. Okay, so we've definitely bribed her already. And we'll go ahead and we'll bribe her as well. Um, so you, I imagine you're in one of these, right? Not in this one. Is she in this one down here? There she is. Okay. Uh, so that means she's got a negative opinion because she wants to be on the council. Also, she's unhappy because I imprisoned one of her family members. Ooh, brutal. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're going to be able to get her to jump out of the faction by putting her in charge of anything, but we can put her in charge of money-making for a bit, because again, or I guess, diplo uh, not diplomacy, uh, development. Uh, we'll put her in charge. We'll give her an opinion of nine. Um, it might get her to jump out of the faction. We can cross our fingers. I still doubt it, but she might decide to leave. If she leaves the faction, it'll drop it by 48% and actually... It won't end the faction from firing. It'll just make it easier for us to fight back. Um, yeah, there's not anything we can do. Okay, we'll just let our we'll let our, we'll just gain troops in the meantime. Uh, what are we looking at here? Ransom this guy. Yep. Let's go ahead and let's just do some upgrades on all of our current territory. Make sure everything is as upgraded as possible because we're gonna need the extra troops. We're gonna need that extra firepower for sure, uh, or you know, income or whatever it is. Let's just go ahead and. Spend all of our current cash on upgrading these. Is this going to take how long to do? Two years? Well, we might still be in the middle of a war during the time these finish and we can get more troops out of it. So that's worth it if that's the case. Go. Um, but yeah, Magic the Gathering was created as a way to play D&D &D with only uh, a couple of people quickly. Wait, what? Magic, wait, are you, wait, what? Magic the Gathering was des was designed to be Dungeons and Dragons? Are you serious? Definitely doesn't feel like it. I mean, it feels complicated enough to be a Dungeons and Dragons style game. That's for sure. But, um, I mean, I guess you could technically look at it as Magic the Gathering is looking at two, like a, a villain and a hero, like the final, final fight. I guess, if you think about it, because you're, like, summoning monsters and whatnot. Okay. Command your conversion and let you go. They're not under our jurisdiction. They're owned by people out here, but, yeah, whatever. All right, prepare for war, everyone. Prepare for war. Here we go. <laughs> war, war is coming. There ain't nothing we can do about it. Uh, that's still gonna fire, and this is still gonna fire, and she's still in it. She's still in it. Bummer. That's okay. Uh, we'll focus exclusively on one of these guys. We'll be able to crush it quickly. We'll just focus on the Independence War first, and then we'll focus on the Liberation War after. The Liberation War, we can actually let go. There's no real problem with that. Continue looking for secrets. Did we not find any? Blackmail these guys real quick. Just in case this kicks them out of a, uh, a faction.
I don't think it is. I don't think any of these were in a faction, but just in case. Now they can't be in a faction because we have a big hook on them. Alright, here it is. I will not be threatened by this Liberation War. Okay. Here's that Liberation War. So they're all down here and angry about us. So we can come down here and attack them. It's predominantly run by you. Which is up here in the north. Easy peasy. Okay, so we'll just go and we'll conquer all that territory and that'll be enough. We tried to get her as a steward to make her happy so that she'd calm down. But it didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, but the more important thing is I want to wait until we see this one fire. The Independence Faction. We're going to ignore the Liberation Faction. They actually have to conquer our capital to avoid us from getting a passive war score bonus. Here it is. Alright, so this is the one that matters. This Independence War is the one that matters. So this Independence War is all over here predominantly. You are the leader of it. And you're down here. With your capital right here. Perfect. This is the one we care about. This is the one that matters. Alright, we're going to wait for a handful of troops. Alright, we're just countering troop raising here. Uh, they're trying to raise into us. We're trying to raise into them. I think they'll actually raise their troops before we can raise all of ours in time. Uh, when are they going to get here? How long is it going to take them? Nine days. Hopefully we can raise enough troops in nine days to fight them off. Ooh, not quite, but we do have su superior combat skills. And we have better... Yeah, we have more champions and we have better uh, men-at-arms. Alright, we'll, we'll crush them. We'll crush them. But yeah, you can see immediately, immediately, they already have a 1% uh, towards victory. Which is why we have to go take this capital as quickly as we can. There we go, 9%. Why did I get dishonored? I don't know. Has been created against us. Yeah, there can be some populist factions and like that'll start popping up here. Uh, we can crush those later. Those are fine. We can crush those later. Right, so the 44,000 troops should be plenty. We just need to go and start uh, quickly sieging this down. Because look, they're already at 4%. <laughs> if we take this, but we don't take their uh, their leader. Oh, where's he? Okay, he's in this uh, in that army. Good. We actually don't want to capture him. Capturing him is actually bad for us. All right, we'll assault the fort. Bam, 22% already our way. And then we'll start getting some positive war score here uh, from just owning their capital. They'll start uh, balancing up on our end. We can white pieces if we have to. There it is, there's that one. But we want to actually win this, so then we can throw all of them in jail and let them sit there until we're of age. And then we don't have these problems anymore. It'd be great. Exactly what we're aiming for. So we're just going to siege as quickly as we can here. How's it going, Spexer? The following, uh, the follow-up game for CK3 will be some boring stuff. Oh, you're not interested in any of those there, Spexer? No worries. No worries. That's what we have uh, Bannerlord for. And then whatever ends up preceding Bannerlord once that one's done. Go. Uh, and then also anyone who's still just kind of hanging out in chat, if you haven't voted yet, um, let's make sure that vote is... Nice, some extra votes have come in. Cool. We'll grab that, uh, that link again. Currently, XCOM's in the in the uh, in the lead, but again, it's only in the lead by two points, and we have six and a half days for this this vote to be open for. So who knows? Uh, between the crowd that comes by tomorrow, uh, comes by on uh, you know, like just any any of our other stream days, still have a bunch of stream days for people to come by and vote. The vote's only been open for a few hours. XCOM is the most boring game to watch. Oh, really? I feel as though we can make it interesting, especially since we're going to be doing uh, a lot of prediction votes. Uh, if we're doing XCOM. We'll definitely be doing a lot of channel point prediction voting. <laughs> For sure. Right, so let's just continue to just, uh, aggressively siege this. Win this as fast as we can. So they're sieging territories in response so far. What are you talking about? XCOM, XCOM is a lot of fun to watch? I think it depends on the person. I mean, you know, everyone's going to be interested in watching different things. 
Alright, we need to start raising uh, new backup troops here, because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm throwing our boys at the wall as hard as they can. And uh, just like when we're playing Bannerlord, that does mean that a lot of our <laughs> a lot of our troops end up dying as we try and push our troops into the wall as quick as possible. All right, let's go ahead and retreat. We need to go and retreat because they have more troops than us now. Uh, but this put us up to 65 with a with 12 of that being passive. Oh, keep raising troops, please. There you go. You keep raising those troops. Raise up as many as we can. We'll end up in a big fight, and we'll move forward from there. Wow, they're actually getting some serious progress against us in sieging. Are they at our capital? No, they're not. They're nowhere near the capital. Okay, that's good. This makes me nervous. We're at 60% to victory, though, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, you should play XCOM 2 Long War 2 instead of the vanilla game. That's even more fun to watch. Uh, how so? What's the uh, difference on that? I mean, I'm, again, I'm always partial to playing non-modded first before modded anything. Uh, ooh, someone was attempting to murder someone? Why, oh, he's suddenly got a whole bunch of blackmail we can start chucking around. Great. Excellent. Let's get that all sorted, set up and sorted. Uh, it's only moving a character one to three tiles, trying to do an action which will have a percent chance to hit and do whatever you want. Really boring in your opinion? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't blame you. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion. Oh, the Liberation War ended uh, non valid because she died. Excellent. That works for me. <laughs> that works for me. It means you just have to focus on the Independence War here, and then we're good to go. We'll just raise literally all of our troops here then. Uh, how are we doing on battle wins? Nine percent. Let's scoot on over here and grab them. Long War 2 adds four more soldier classes, and you believe uh, more squad management, uh, placing multiple squads on different missions simultaneously, which is more exhilarating. Oh, interesting. Oh, we can take a look at it, but again, no promises. Generally speaking, I'll play a game with... Uh, what are we looking at here? What's the danger? I guess because these guys are getting there. Uh, generally speaking, I stick to the... Wait, oh, they're just looking at potentially redoing it. Uh, we do uh, non-modded first, generally speaking, so. I would say expect it to be non-modded. Ooh, we're getting rowdy. I guess it means we're changing over to more of a martial focus, huh? So let's go martial, because that's what we're leaning towards a little bit better. A little bit better at it, because we're rowdy. Let's get them in here. Big battles. Completely stack wiped. Unfortunately, I think we're going to capture the leader here. Which is going to lose us all of our progress. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, great. He escaped. Excellent. Everyone's in jail. That was like the best outcome we could have absolutely hoped for. <laughs> that was like the fastest... Uh, that was like the fastest independence faction war we could have had. The Liberation War now has a lot of people in it, or rather has a lot of power in it. 60! Oh my goodness, you've got a lot of troops. I've already paid him, haven't I? Yeah, because he's one of our lead guys. Uh, he's really good at martial. We'll just, can we put him in martial? Actually, he's better. You know what? You're right. You should be angry. You are better than the guy who's currently in charge. Let's put you in here. There you go. Give him a big bonus in opinion, which should be enough to wind this down to more manageable 200%. Okay, we're gaining up to 111,000, so once we get all the way up there again, it'll be easier. We're six months out from this. Yeah, if he drops, it'll make this easier. Okay, so we'll wait a little bit longer here before we can start doing other wars. I just want to make sure we're not going to run into any of these liberation wars and whatnot anytime soon. Uh, if you've never played XCOM 2, then yeah, non-modded would be fun. Uh, would be fun too, so long as it's a DLC. Yeah, I've not played... Uh, ooh, I think it just ended. Nope. But a huge... I think he just left. Yeah, he just left. Uh, I've not played any XCOM games before, and I've been told we need to we need to do that. They need to change, which is why it's on the list. But you can blame Carcinogen. Carcinogen had me look into it uh, when we were talking about it. 
And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, the guy died, actually. Never mind. <laughs> it's not that he left. It's that he died. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll have her in charge instead. She's a powerful vassal as well. So she's going to be very happy with us putting her in charge here. Good. That works out well. Uh, yeah, Chris Engine had me look into it, and I was like, that actually looks really interesting. Uh, we'll let it slide. Let this person go free. So, it does... Okay, I just, I just want to monitor this a little bit longer. We're ten months out. Run away. Dalem is the real one. Really? Dalem? Okay. Why are you angry at me? Short reign, no alliance with clan, not rightful liege, personal diplomacy, and absolute crown sword. Okay. So as our personal diplomacy goes further, uh, it gains to be larger, and our short reign disappears, uh, we'll start doing better. However, we are slowly losing opinion of predecessor and received gift. Hmm. Oh, well, should be fine. We'll wait until we have all of our troop count back, uh, and at which point then we'll, we'll move forward. Hmm. So, we'll go ahead and release more people. Just anyone who wants to be released, they can go. Well, that's, that's exactly what we have the, um... That's why we have the Discord channel to talk about different games and whatnot. It's important. So we can chat about those. So you never know. Um, let's see. Because, I mean, you know, XCOM's been on the list for a bit, but having me revisit looking at it might have helped to get through the uh, the elimination. The so kingdom isn't really going to help much. Duchy seizing territory we should own is what? Just this one province? Two provinces, I guess, not bad. I want to start looking at expanding again. Um, and since we died, uh, technically all of our truces are, are over. So that doesn't matter. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and... I really want to get a war for everything. We can at least take all of Pelham. Pel Pelium. Oh, no, we can't. We still have a truce. Okay. Right, let's go for everything here. Everything you own, which is just you. Just that county. Perfect. Go take that county of yours. That's going to be a fight to try and take his territory. We can just fight for a county here. Or now we want to take a duchy. We need to take this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're all part of different duchies, so we'll take those two. Um, and then over here, the Kingdom War would be for all that, but instead we'll just do duchies, because there's only, what, two or three duchies? Oh, we'll do Dutchy War for that. Perfect. All right, so let's do this triple uh, triple war here for further expansion, as it is time for us to expand again. Raise the troops. Let's get on in there. Again, there'll be a liberation war that'll uh, pop up after this, but that's okay. We'll survive. We just have to siege this one territory, and this one battle is over, and then we're on to the next. One chunk of land at a time. There we go. Nice. Okay, that war's over. <laughs> Easy. Jump up here next. And we'll just go from here to there. Um. Keep finding secrets. Might not feel like there are more secrets. But there's still more secrets out there. Trust me. We just we just have to be patient, or we have to look harder. We'll find more. Uh, and then this territory here. Let's go and pass this off because I don't want it. That's off to you. There you go. And then this territory here is owned by this. We can go ahead and we can create this territory. Give this to. You. Grant this to you. Hey, Sassanid. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Keeping ourselves at 19. Perfect. Perfect. Continue to continue the wars. Should probably raise more troops, honestly. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, maybe we should have a couple more, a couple more troops running around. 
but raising some troops here. They might decide to go and attack that. If they do, ah, well, whatever. We'll live. Yeah, it looks like they're going to come and attack it. They actually take too long. We'll raise too many troops for them to actually fight off. Can we actually get in here? Right now, they're only levies, so they'll probably be beat. But if we can get there... now we can't get there fast enough. Never mind. Ah, well, they jumped on it quickly. Good on them. Oh no, we lost the we lost the battle and lost the zero percent uh, influence on the war. Oh noes. Oh good he oh good heavens, we stack wiped them. Oh noes. <laughs> they must have felt pretty highly of themselves from that, huh? All right, so here's the liberate uh, liberty war. Um, so they just want to bring us down to high crown authority. Uh, which, I mean, we could do. We gain a lot more troops from having it being absolute. So we'll say no. And we'll go beat them up in a minute here. As again, they have to go and actually take our territory to... They have to force us into uh, giving them what they want. As opposed to us forcing people to stay in our kingdom. Uh, so we can be lazy about it and just wait for them to get, get over to us to take our stuffs. Bam. That war. Territory gained. Uh, let's move down here to the next one. Take this chunk of Parma. This off to you. And we'll drop this off. You. Uh, and this is part of this. So we can go ahead and we can actually usurp that now. And give it to you. Right, that duchy, and this duchy goes underneath this kingdom, which we can actually now create. Um, oh, actually, we don't want this kingdom title. That's oh, right, we don't want more kingdoms. We'll leave the kingdom. <laughs> sorry, okay, my bad. We don't, we don't want kingdoms because kingdoms are bad right now, because there are too many at the moment. There are too many kingdoms. Uh, so in the Empire is this greater territory here, which is what? Uh, this kingdom. She owns too much, but you know what? That's fine. We'll give her this person for now. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Perfect. All right. Let's continue to move forward. Can't do war with either of those guys. All right. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. What's going on down here? Um... What does he want? He wants insatisfaction for the slight. Um, no, that's really funny. You're a funny man. I hope you know that. <laughs> We're gonna give him nothing. <laughs> we'll give you nothing for that. This is bad parenting skills on his side. Uh, we can try and fix any of these guys. Do so these guys have any weird feudal contracts? Any weird feudal contracts? They're all normal. Ah, yours is weird. Actually, give me troops, sir. Uh, we'll make it a little hook so it's not tyrannical. So this means that instead of no troops, he gives us 62 troops. Perfect. Everyone else has normal contracts, and I'm fine with that. He's like, but for decades, I've not had to give you additional troops. And I'm like, well, not anymore. That's on you. That's on you. Good. And let's just see this up here. And then once we finish this war, taking this chunk of Perma, um, or Permia, then we'll go ahead and um, actively fight in the Liber Liberty War. Take them out. Get rid of them. All right, while we're doing this war in here, I'm go ahead and pour myself some tea. It's definitely something I need. Ah, uh, yes. Expand as much as we can. We only have 20 more in... Uh, we only have 20 more years for us to go and expand the Empire as fast as we can. We gotta make sure we're grabbing as, as much land as we can all the time. We need to be in permanent wars, realistically. I mean, permanently... Permanent expansion wars, not fighting these liberty wars. Let me pour this tea real quick, so it's, or the hot water at least, so it can start steeping the tea. Perfect. There we go. Nice. Alright. 
So we'll continue to ignore this Liberty faction. Again, if it ends up passing, that's fine. It's just gonna severely like reduce the amount of troops that we can raise for combat. So we kind of want to keep it at high because we get 30% troops and payment from vassals uh, with absolute crown authority versus, was it 10% or something? Yeah, we get 35, excuse me, versus 10. Yeah, so we get 25 more troops and money from vassals because of this. So we definitely want to keep that going if we can help it. Oh, they've counter-sieged us. They've taken, they've sieged two, two provinces here. Two of our counties have been sieged. How dare they? I'll have to kick them out. Come on now. Let's sign a weakness. Ah, we got a hook, a cook, one of our, our hooks on overcooked broccoli has, has ended. That's fine. I, he's okay. <laughs> he's not in a place of power, so the hook doesn't actually really do as much. Up here next, and here, and it's nice because there's three territories right next to each other. It makes it nice and easy. All right, you're off to work? All right, see you later, Sexer. Have a good one. Have a good one. See you later. How's it going, Miss Fortune? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Miss Fortune, we have a vote going on uh, for what games can be replacing uh, Crusader Kings, as we have in the past. You know the rules. Vote for all the ones you're interested in. The one with the most votes wins. You know how it goes. Uh, again, today is the first day of the vote, so whatever's in the lead right now, for all we know, won't be in the long term. Vote for anything but XCOM? I mean, you choose what you want. Uh, but again, we still have days and days and days for the vote to go through. Because uh, there seems to be... we uh, Not seems to be. There te there's a pretty good divide in people that hang out for Bannerlord content on Monday, Tuesday, versus... Uh, no, keep, keep looking for secrets. Uh, versus Crusader Kings 3 content on our Wednesday, Thursdays. So once this circles back around to Monday... That's probably when we'll know we'll have a pretty good inkling on what's going to end up winning. Uh, because they'll be voting at that point. But until then, we're missing, you know, like, half of the standard people that will... Well, probably a third. Because a third of you guys hang out for both. And then it's like a third for each of the of the two days. Uh, and so we'll see at that point. Once we take the capital, we'll have this war over. Even though they have this territory and we haven't fought them, <laughs> we'll win with just taking this capital. Right, we figured out they've got a murder secret going on. Grip that. You've done your part? Perfect. Thank you for doing your part, Miss Fortune. Thank you for voting. All right, bam. There we go. Perma's grabbed. More territory. Let's get ourselves up and out of Perma so we can go and lower these troops and raise them somewhere else, which is important because we need to raise them in a place that we can actually fight this off. Uh, they're not... None of these territories are near our capital, so that's good. Bono, I don't remember where that is. But they're not around here. They're all down here. Yeah. And again, we do have the passive gain of 12%. Just going to keep going up and up and up as they don't take our territory. As they, as they don't take our capital, that'll just keep rising up and up. Uh, so we're just instead, we're going to teleport down here, and we're just going to beat these guys up in a big, big war. <laughs> big, a big, massive battle is what we're going to rely on to just go and... Uh, kick their teeth in, more or less. Uh, let me go deal with this real quick to make sure our troops don't, don't have troop issues. Uh, what territory did you give me? This one. I don't want this. This goes to you. Perfect. Uh, ah, good. We should go ahead and do the final upgrade for some of these. These up to the tier 7s and tier 8s of the last thing that's upgrading. Oh, actually, there's only a tier 5 for that one. Because, again, this will give us some more troops. And also give us buffs. So it makes our troops even stronger. Extra 2%. Perfect. And we still have more money than we know what to do with. <laughs> it still doesn't matter. We still have so much money. It's crazy. Uh, yep, keep looking for secrets. We found a murder plot last time we did that, so we can go ahead and blackmail. Oh, we got a... Uh, oh my goodness, we got a bunch. A bunch of lovers. Where's that murder plot? Oh my goodness, we have so much blackmail. We blackmail th There's the murder plot. We can blackmail so many people. This is great. Thousand. We'll get ourselves to like sixty, well, seventy thousand troops, and we'll get, we'll get marching. Actually, we're almost at our 
earning limit here. Before I start moving, we hit our earning limit. Yeah, there we go. It's more or less the earning limit here. Let's get moving over. Are you guys unseaging that for me? What are you doing? I don't know. It gained a whole bunch of hooks. <laughs> Close all those down. All that down there. Uh, so we'll just go and we can start sieging through this territory here. Um, the main leader... Ah, he's over here. Again, the same guy. Okay, I see. Oh, we can go and fight him later if we want to. We'll jump over here to where there's a bunch of troops. Jump over here real quick. Just assault that. Check him down there. There we go. So are they sieging anywhere else? No, it seems like it's mostly just this guy. Ugh, Jesus, not good. There's Upper Bono. I see it, I see it. Um, Alright, we'll go siege this, and then we can siege this, and we can siege that, and then this. Siege our way over. We'll have to go nice and steady from one side to the other. Side to the other. Alright. Nice. Uh, glad to see late game CK3 holds up to late game CK2 in ridiculousness. Oh yeah, it does. It really does. Um, but luckily it's a little bit easier to manage. It's a, it's a little bit easier to manage than CK2. Not by a lot, but a little. Which is good. Jump over here. We just need to get ourselves into a positive um, battle on here, and I think we'll just white piece it. It doesn't matter. We're down, we're down to the wire on years. I really want us to not be fighting these liberation wars and the like. I'd rather us be fighting uh, expansion wars instead. So let's go ahead and let's just, just get ourselves here into... How much are they getting for Upper Bono? Give me a 10%. Okay, good. So we'll grab this, grab their capital there, and then we should be able to start pushing for a, uh, a white piece. Or we'll grab this and then we'll teleport to the other side of the world and we'll start going from there. 3%. So they're still sieging other spots. I think they're just sieging over here, right? They're sieging here. Not really sieging over here. They're sieging all over the place. We'll siege this one out. Uh, I don't know. Where's their leader for this kingdom? Oh, he's actually up here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we can try and actually fight them. If we can fight these guys and stack wipe them, that'd be pretty good. Uh, we're going to be even in numbers until we actually show up at the uh, in our territory and we start gaining more. Logistics lady in charge. Uh, but yeah, we'll need to have these guys start repopulating. Fix our problems. A lot of other dangerous factions are going to start gaining in power uh, just because we're low on troops. Oh, one month until. Uh oh, that's not good. I need to stop uh, quick sieging stuff. Let's just buy some mercenaries. Just do that real quick. <laughs> it's just you know to knock the uh, the power of this thing down a little. Now seven K troops. And we'll disband them. I just need to own the extra seven K. That's all. Um. Yeah, there we go. Start gaining more troops as we wait. Uh, anytime now, this liberation one. Th this is actually a bad one. This one really sucks because it's really hard to fight this one back because it's going to be 27 different provinces are going to be an issue for us. Um, so I really don't like that. Uh, and you are working on this. Ah, there it is. So they either get to leave or we have to start a war for them to not have freedom. That sucks. I really don't like this. I should have paid more attention to it. Uh, we quick sieged our way into that problem. So it is. That's fine. We'll crush them in a minute. Um, where are they fighting from? Up here. Okay. We'll spin back up here next. <laughs> sort them out. They'll uh, rally all the troops together into one big pile, and then we'll take them. We need to get these guys before they start. Uh, before they can manage to escape. And yeah, we want to completely stack wipe them if we can. We only outnumber them barely two to one. Um, they're so fast. Can we catch them? Looks like some of them are still moving in. Yeah, so we can't catch them. We can catch a few, and the rest will try 
come to try and help, but just crush these guys. All right, that group stack wiped. Go over here and we'll stack wipe this trooping and then we can teleport. Good. 18%. Get that king. Probably have him captured. Yep, so we captured the king. Uh, which means that uh, this territory is no longer part of the war, which means that all that territory that we had conquered no longer matters. It's what I really, really dislike about these independence wars. It just drags them out for a, ridiculous long, a ridiculously long amount of time. And I understand the reasoning for it. Again, it makes it easier for you to defend if you're a really tiny nation, sure. But otherwise, it's just, ah, it's just it really sucks. Because you have to restart your sieging and everything all over again. If you end up capturing the king... Doesn't mean he's directed behind bars and we don't have to worry about him anymore. Uh, he is the blood father, after all. Uh, so we'll get ourselves up to 40,000 troops or so. Let's go ahead and make sure we... Oop, hold on. Not this. I, don't want, I don't care about the commander themselves. I care about swapping out who the commander is. For her. Perfect. 40,000 and change. All right, let's go siege our way north. Start here, I guess. All right, let's get up here. Quick siege this territory. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. And that should end this war. And then we'll have to go and deal with the uprising, which shouldn't be hard. We'll be able to get ourselves into a white piece uh, for the uprising. That'll be an easy one to do. We'll go from there. Uh, how'd you get all your CBs? Ah, a very good question. We got all of our CBs by, um, by going and uh, reforming our faith to have Warmonger as one of our tenants. Uh, we, we reformed our faith to have war, uh, Warmonger as our tenants, which means that we're now allowed to go to war with anyone we want to. <laughs> Doesn't matter who they are, so long as they're within diplomatic range. We can fight for a duchy or a county uh, for the cost of prestige. Uh, that was the main that was the main cast spell that we ended up using. Makes life a lot easier. Bam. Grab that up to the next one. Again, we could probably go in white piece if we wanted to, but it'd be best if we can actually throw them in jail. Holy War plus invasion cast abilities. That's exactly right. So we were taking advantage of holy wars for like holy kingdom wars, invasion wars, and then just um, like, hey, we own this territory now. Uh, what dynastic perks do you, have you taken? Ooh, that's a really good point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. We do need to go and grab this one. Nice. Plus five points to our uh, top five powerful vassals. That's good. Uh, so we have all of the warfare. We have all of the kin. We have most of blood. I really didn't want uh, these last two here in blood. These two were gained by someone else uh, when they were in charge of our uh, dynasty for a small amount of time. They bought these. I didn't want these. They also bought these. So ordained rulership, treasured knowledge, resilient bloodline, and architectured ancestry. I don't want any of them. They all are garbage for what we are trying to do. Um, otherwise, we would have home estates by now. Uh, we probably would have gotten ourselves uh, down this track here to get prestige, uh, down glory, instead of taking these. I mean, we probably would end up taking ordained rulership eventually, to be honest. But treasured knowledge wasn't important. Resilient bloodline and architectured ancestry, definitely not. I would rather gone down glory instead. Try and get to righteousness. So that's that's what I would have rather done, but we didn't get full control of where everything was going because uh, when you die, they get to take over for a smidgen, and when you're waiting for 5k points and they see 3k and 2k, they say, well, you know what? I can buy something with that, and I say stop it. But they don't listen because they get to be the head of the, head of the family for like two months. They have to flaunt their power, and oh boy, do they. Each both of these? Yeah, we do. I just need to make sure there's a uh, supply line here so we can move freely through here. Uh, how long have you played the save? Ooh, that's a good question, Birdie. That's a good question. Uh, how long have we played the save? Um, I'm not sure. I think we've been playing it for a couple months. Two months? Is this is this a two-month-old game? We play it two days a week, so probably about two months. Uh, but this game, the same's almost over. We're down to 17 uh, years left in, in this run until we hit 1452, which I think is the end of the game. can't recall. So, someone's going to have to remind me. I think it's 1452. Someone mentioned it at the beginning of the stream today. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! mentioned it. Let's 
So we need to get this war done quickly. <laughs> They're getting nowhere with this. Because they haven't sieged anything yet. I'll just go womp them in the face in a bit here. Um, and then we're just going to go right back to mass expanding. We want to take all of the northeast, but there's no way we're going to be able to do it now. There's not enough time. So we'll take as much of the northeast as we possibly can. Oh, we're at 63 bonus, really. Okay, so we just have to do some counter-sieging. So we'll anti-siege those two next. Advantage of that, try and get further. Uh, 1452 is the end date. Okay. Thanks, Curse Engine. Thank you, thank you. Go, bam. Up on this one. Or around there, since 1444 is the start date of the Orc. That makes sense. Uh, oh, the 13th of March. I don't think we're expanding any further than we've already expanded, guys. We have to deal with the crusade. <laughs> we have to we have to deal with defending against the crusade now. Uh, so I have a feeling we're we're done. That's the end of our progress. We're not going to be progressing any further uh, with land acquisition. That's going to probably be a six-year war um, unless we can turn this thing around. I need to finish these revolts quickly so we can have more uh, troop power before we start defending Jerusalem. Here, I refuse to give it up. Jerusalem is ours. We fought long and hard for it. So we'll take this and we'll unsiege this and that should give us the victory. As uh, so long as we don't end up taking the king. Where's the king? Ooh, he better not fight us. Actually, he could probably... Actually, he guaranteed could win that fight if he fought us because I've pushed our troops too hard. Recruit any, any spare troops here. So they've got 30-something thousand troops here. I've pushed our troops way too hard. <laughs> They're weak. They're falling apart. Who are you? Oh, you're helping in the Holy War. Good, good, good. At least our vassals will help the Holy War. Thank goodness. <laughs> we need some help. Are we not actually managing to siege their castle? What is this? There we go. Quick siege the castle. Push it for all it's worth. We'll take that. Pop out. Uh, recruit as many troops as we can. And we'll get back over here and beat these guys up in a battle if we have to. Just lost 4,000 troops doing that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, we just have to unsiege this before they siege anything else. If we can unsiege this before they siege anything else, we've got it. Four points out. Quickly. Attack the troops. Attack the troops and just, just run at the walls. <laughs> We're going to have very few troops. We're going to have to wait for them to all, you know, be rehired. But, oh my goodness, everyone's coming over here to help defend. Uh, th this is the wrong war, guys. This isn't the war you're supposed to be helping with. Go over to Jerusalem and go fight over there. Don't don't snack on me over here. Go to Jerusalem. Turn around. Everyone turn around. Go fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well. So it goes. All right, we go. All of you guys are now in jail. Excellent. Uh, all of these troops, let's go ahead and lower them down. Because as you can see, we only have about a... You know, maybe a seventh of our total troop count. Lower them down. All these guys will spin back around and start moving to Jerusalem instead. Uh, we need to defend Jerusalem as there are going to be a lot of troops over here trying to fight and take it. Uh, we're at 17% defending against this uprising. Is anyone actually successfully sieging anything? They are. Slowly. So we'll get a small troop over here to fight these guys off. Um, I just need a small troop of maybe like 20,000. 5k. Uh, we'll get a couple more troops over here. Hopefully they don't try and stack up on us while I try and just demolish this army here. Uh, six. I mean, actually, we just get 10,000 in here. Should be fine. Um, he's a logistics boy. Get her in charge, though. Months on months for uh, for raising troops. I think that's actually fine. <laughs> She's going to have a lot of troops once they're done. So go here, then go here. In here, in there, down here, and over here, and up here. Uh, and taking that route should get us what we need. <laughs> that should get us the victory we need. Uh, as you can see, there are people over here too that we have to go deal with. Uh, so they're going to bring in large quantities of troops, which is fine. And we'll let we'll let the we'll let Christendom kind of do what they want for a smidgen here. 
uh, and we'll go sort them out in a minute. I really want to see how this is going to go. If we can knock down the peasants enough that we can stop them, we'll be pretty good. We just have to knock the peasants down enough. Uh, how does the religion map look? There we go. So we've managed to acquire Bordy for most of, most of it. Um, Catholic's doing pretty strong. They went and took a lot of the northern territories. Uh, Orthodox is holding on well, but we're slowly trying to kick it out. Uh, we're having a lot of trouble getting rid of it, everything over here. <laughs> Taking a while. Uh, but the goal was to try and take all of this over here. We don't have enough time. We'll take as much as we can. We'll at least get, uh, keep all of our territory. That's the important part. It's the most important part, of course. All right, go and trounce these. Good. On to the next. Villainous people. Uh, we got one percent for that. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, the main thing is just need to stop them from taking things. Can I actually push for a white piece? I can. Done. Let's just get a white piece done. There we go. Let's ban the troops. All right. Oh, for, <laughs> got caught off guard seeing that. Uh, looks like these guys broke from the Byzantines, which is great. So we'll do a kingdom war for this territory if we can, or we'll grab whatever kingdom territory we can here as soon as we're done with these wars. Um, the Byzantines actually have... Wait, Aland? Alright, Aland, you do you. <laughs> I don't know what Aland's doing, but okay. Uh, the Byzantines lost a bunch of... They... Mm, interesting. Hmm... Very interesting. Uh, we'll bring our troops over here to raise from. We'll give them a good chunk of time to, to rise up. Uh, do I have a zealous commander? I do. Uh, she's in charge because she's uh, logistics, she's aggressive, and uh, she's a holy warrior. It's going to be good for us. We need to raise literally all of our troops, so we're just going to wait for this thing to become a huge, beefy tank of troops. I don't want to move north from here as a big wrecking ball. Just steam on through. Yes, this was a uh, 1867 start. This is an 1867 start, uh, starting in good old uh, Dura down here. That is that is the start we had. We hit the random button uh, when we were going to start the run. <laughs> we just hit the random uh, territory button, and it gave us Dura. And that's what we started as. That was the beginning of the run. So we raised more or less all the troops we're going to raise. I don't think we're going to stay here for 14 months trying to see if we can raise any other additional troops. Okay. Let's run through. Uh, our vassals, will they'll come and help out. But we'll start moving with our 1,300... Uh, sorry, 137,000 troops. We'll start moving quickly. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. These guys won't... That's fine. They, that expires. It expires. Um, extra... Vassals? Where do we get extra vassals from? These guys here. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and usurp that. Give it to you. Put my vassal number down so we can raise more troops. Uh, this is all part of this kingdom. I'll just pass them off. What kingdom is this? This is you? Uh, here, you can have this fam, and uh, you can have this fam. We can't have as many kingdoms as we have right now. That's the big flaw that we ran into, is we made too many kingdoms. And fighting to remove them is not going to work. It's going to always get me where I'm like, oh no, they've they've managed to escape. No, 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 they're just pledging their troops to fight. All these guys are just pledging their troops to fight against the tyranny that is Christendom. We'll get them out of here. How's it going, Falco? How are you doing today? Uh, you sure you're having a day? Uh, not very good one, but also not a very bad one. Hey, so long as so long as you know that the next day can be better than the last, you're on the right track, Falco. You're on the right track. Uh, you're not used to seeing so many troops like this. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, we'll you're ready. This is going to become an absolute nightmare. Uh, Falco, don't know if you saw it in uh, Discord, but again, there is a new vote that's going on for what the new game's going to be. Um, the vote's going for about a week, uh, and the new game will be started next Wednesday. Uh, but there it is. Uh, anyone who's hanging out here, vote for all the games that you're interested in seeing. The game that gets the most votes is the game that we'll be playing. That's how, that's how we do our votes for finding out what the next game's going to be played. I just narrow it down to a, a simple choice of 
five games. You guys decide specifically what game it's going to be. Hey, Andy94, Andy. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Hopefully you get in there and put in a vote for what the next game will be. Um, You got your very first uh, HS eSports game tomorrow? Is that high school eSports game? Is that what you're saying? You saw and you uh, really recommended you play uh, XCOM 2 but with mods. A lot of people are saying play it with mods. And I'm, I don't know. I generally don't play mods first round. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. But probably, probably won't play mods first round if we're playing XCOM. Um, or same, I don't know, because Fallout 4 is on that list too. <laughs> so that's another game that I know a lot of people would say you should play with mods. Uh, I don't know if I'll be playing with mods off the, right off the gate. Uh, or right out of the gate, rather. Right off the bat, right out of the gate. Uh, I don't think we'll be playing with mods directly. Um, yeah, high school? Nice. Uh, what esports game is it, by the way? What esports game? Ooh! We've got names! Do we have any names for the list? We have no names! No one's redeemed any CK3 names. Would anyone like to uh, pick a name? Oh, it's our, uh, it's our religious leader. Oh, Rocket League. Nice! Uh, you gotta use channel points to pick a name, but the name list is completely empty if someone wants to pop one in here. This is a top-tier child, both, be uh, not both, but beautiful genius, Amazonian, fecund. Oh my goodness, beautiful child indeed. Mmm, delicious tea. Um, I'll give you guys a moment to go ahead and put that in. Ah, uh, no, NG, NG Vita, it's got to go through the channel point system. You got to use your points. Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll just uh, hit the good old ancestor randomized button for a hot second. We end up with one here. Ah, there we go. Chris has got one. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I guess we have to be genuinely concerned about this child. There we go. Child name's in. <laughs> but you're trying to save your channel points? I get you. No worries. No worries. All right, there we go. We'll do that one next, Falco. We'll do that one next. All right, so we've kicked everyone off of the... Wow, well, at least off of the southern territory here. Let's move further north. Keep going, kicking butt. Battles 1 is where we're getting it. Uh, we need to unsiege stuff. Oh, wait, where, where, where on earth were they? I don't know. We'll get these 57,000 troops. We'll crush them since we have twice their troop count. Oh my goodness, who's in charge of their army? What? We have a... We have a... We have an 81 a bonus in combat versus them. They're going to get absolutely creamed. What are they thinking? Ooh, nice. We forced her to stop bullying us. Nice. Well done us. Done us. All right, let's jump back down here and start fighting these guys. Good, good, good. Come back down. We're just seesawing up and down and up and down for these battles. A new child... This child is a son. Poseidon it is. Little god of the sea. Welcome to the world, Poseidon. Welcome to the world. Ooh, what do we want to learn? Do we want to be ambitious? Do we want to be st uh, sadistic? Or do we want to be paranoid? Uh, we're going to be ambitious, 100%. Ambitious is great, and the reason why you always want to take ambitious is while it does make you more stressed, you get more stressed out of it, you get plus one to all stats. It's too good. It's too good to pass up. We can't not do that. We got to. They've got plenty of troops. They can win the, that battle there. Um, we can't wipe peace in Holy Wars, unfortunately. We're just going to have to keep working on unseaging lands. Um, war score is going. Battle score is going. Yeah. So it's just going to have to be us constantly unseaging territory. <laughs> and fighting these guys. We'll get there eventually. Good morning, Mistani. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Now that's a stack. Oh, you know it, Alan. Oh, you know it. The stack's only going to get worse as this continues, and they become more frantic running around. All right, so our defender control territory is slowly going to increase over time, as long as we keep this territory of Jerusalem under our direct control. Holding direct control. Um, yeah, let's try and see if we can catch them. I don't know if we can. We caught some. We caught some. There we go. Hey, Birdie, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Good to have you here. Go take Rome. Ah, we don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. 
We're going to do the best we can to hold on to all the territory we currently own, and we'll see what we can do from there. Just, go, just squash this 2.8k. Uh, nah, I can't do it. They're too fast. Run back this way. <laughs> back and forth and back and forth. West Andrew loses them to end the crusade. Uh, I mean, we just want, like, the mostly I'm just trying to run down and track down all their troops uh, and get the highest amount of battle score as I can. Because uh, that's the easiest thing I can do to try and end this war quickly, is get large battle score. Uh, we could, of course, try and run over to Rome and start sieging it. I guess you're right on that one. It's, it's an option. It's an option. Uh, one, uh, 116k on boats. Yeah, it sounds like a dangerous idea. Don't do that. It's going to be really expensive. <laughs> Ooh. Well, the thing is that they also get like the disembarking debuff, which gives them a negative... What, 30 for combat for the next combat they're in? Very bad. Very, very, very bad for them. Right, keep on going. Can we grab these 1,235 or are they going to be too slippery for us? We're going to just crush them with just unbelievably sheer numbers. Right, so far, so good. We're, hold we're holding out. All right, so I think the rest of our vassals can kind of just sit that out there. There's not many left. Um, the papacy is in trouble. We only lose 6,000 on our way. We're going to say hi to the papacy real quick. <laughs> We're going to say hi. It's only going to cost us 900 uh, d uh, chunks of gold to get onto the ocean. Walk to Rome? Nah. We have 33,000 gold. What are we supposed to use it for if not put everyone on a private boat? <laughs> There's no place like like Gnome. Oh yeah. We're on our way we're on our way to get back over to Rome. You know, everyone said they wanted to go see the Colosseum. Why don't we just get over there and have ourselves a shindig? And if there's any any Catholics in the region, we'll take care of that problem. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Why hello Rome? Hello Pope. How are you? Two months? Well, as soon as we can break a wall, we're gonna fast siege this bad boy. 18 days. Oh, we didn't manage to break the wall. Come on, break the break a wall. Break a wall here, please. Can wait, are you actually able to take the Pope hostage? That'd be amazing if we could. Didn't make it on this round either. Come on. 18 days, let's break it. 18 days, let's break the wall. Fast sieging. There we go, fast sieging. 88. How much did we get for taking Rome? We got 69.6. Or sorry, 39.6 for taking Rome. Nice. We'll get over here to uh, Viterbo. We'll take that one. We get to go. Pick you up. Yeah, no worries. No, worries. We'll, we'll bring back some. We'll bring back some souvenirs. We'll bring back some souvenirs when we get back from our crusade, our counter crusade. See, uh, the Pope wanted us to. The, the Pope wanted to ensure that Jerusalem had some extra. Um, influence from Christendom, and you know what? We'll be happy to oblige. We'll just come on over here to Rome, and we'll find a few trinkets inside of the Vatican, and we'll bring them on back over to Jerusalem, right? That's what we'll do. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll we'll bring a little bit of Christendom back to Jerusalem for them. Because that's what, that's what the, that was the whole point of the crusade, right? That was the whole point of the crusade? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's what it was, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confident I didn't get that wrong. All right, you. <laughs> What's going on over here, you? Uh, claims. Anyone have any good claims? Not really. We can do a kingdom invasion for all that territory, though, which is pretty nice. Easy clap? I know, right? <laughs> Easy peasy. Just say hi to Rome. Uh, oh, we can grab a big swath of territory in the north. Or in the east. Or in the We'll go for the south. Definitely no, definitely no. Yeah, we'll take this territory here. We'll do a big kingdom war for this. Take that big southern territory. And then we'll do a kingdom war here uh, for this. I mean, we could have gone for more of that territory there, but I'd rather go and fight for all of this here and have this chunk of land. We don't have a lot of time left, so we're gonna do two massive wars at once because we're ambitious and I'm confident we can get this bad boy done. Let's go ahead and let's get ourselves... Is that marked? Sent Harold. Good. Right, let's go ahead and let's raise some troops up. 
We'll get these two wars going. We'll take them down. We'll take them down. Don't you worry. We're on the case. We're on the case. Full of faith. Full of faith. Mick, uh, Mick Loganak. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Let's raise as many troops as we can here. Oh, are they going to come to us? I may always love it when they do. Makes our life easier. Ooh, that's not what I want. I want to swap out our commander for you. She does such a great job. Right, stop picking up troops. Let's jump over here and intercept them. We'll go from there. Uh, crusading against the crusade? Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean... McLoganock, they... The, the Pope never expected our Uno Reverse card. Oh, so powerful, so strong. You crusade us? Well, well welcome to the Counter Crusade. Oh my goodness, they just vaporized their entire troops. <laughs> like, all their troops just got vaporized. It looks like they're locked into movement in here as well, so hopefully we can vaporize these as well. Yep, and vaporize all those as well. I love it when a pine comes together. How many troops do you have, sir? Well, it's unfortunate. He's got 595 troops for his entire kingdom. It's a... It's a small army for this much land. Wow. Unfortunate. <laughs> you alright? Perfect. Good. <laughs> alright, let's get in here and take this thing down as quickly as we can. The kitten! I'm out playing uh, close to the drylands and suddenly I hear a sound. It's a small, but it's weak, but it's there. We found a kitten. We found a kitty. Excellent. Gives us an intrigue and a learning. Oh, wow. The music just ended. Oh, what are we going to name the kitten? <gasps> Should we have a name? What's the name for the cat? Might or Paws? You have a, you have a feeling Iceland's going to survive our uh, tyranny? Probably. Probably. Uh, why don't we educate... Uh, heir in intrigue and kidnap the Pope. Ah, we don't have enough time. We're the one who's actually we're playing as this 11 year old boy right now. Unfortunately, we have subpar stats. We're only comely and intelligent versus everyone else in the family who is a good old genius, Herculean, beautiful, fecund. Unfortunate. Uh, let's go with Paz. Paz is a great name. And by that I mean it's a it's a very uninspired name. There we go. Grab the air. Bam. Ask the Pope to convert religion. Uh, wouldn't they just pick a new Pope then? Alright, there goes our kingdom war. That is easy. <laughs> Done. Alright, let's go get our next kingdom war sorted out. Uh, let's move to... Wow, they have like no troops. Now let's move over to the capital. Go from there. Uh, before we end up having issues, let's go and let's toss all this garbage I've just been handed. Uh, this territory can be owned by someone who's not me. Uh, this territory can be owned by... Get out of here. Someone who's not me. This territory... Owned by... Some other random person. There you go. We'll do the same with this thing. Out of here. <laughs> it's just covering up our buttons. Not covering up my buttons. Don't want this either. Go away. We'll grab someone who's got stewardship skill who doesn't have any territory. And last one here. Or actually has no claims. So what I'm doing is I'm actively avoiding anyone who's got claims. Because that causes border gore. And we'd like to avoid that. Uh, yikes. That's a lot. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we're just going to jump from here, here, to here, right? We're going to usurp this territory. Uh, where's this kingdom normally? Uh, the kingdom is normally right here. We're going to grant this to someone as well. She's in charge of this, but not only that, she's in charge of the entire kingdom. Sort out who owns what. I don't care. <laughs> you figure that out. That's not on my shoulders. You sort it out. Alright, we still have 33,000 buccarinos. Uh, something fox came in front of sleep. Ooh. Um, uh, what are we looking at? So, what are we... Okay, so we can either... We can either realize we're interested in ladies and men. Both. Or none. That was easy. We... We... 
are the king of an em or we're the we're an emperor. Why should we have to choose, right? Come on now. Uh become your victim? Ooh. Um no, let's not let's not let's keep our anger management in check if we can help it. Don't need to get uh don't need to get any enemies right now. We're still only eleven years old. Let's use our money here to upgrade all this territory again. Is this near maxed out? Perfect. Yeah, why not both, right? It just means that we get to pick uh, more interesting people to be with, right? Right? Uh, can the Empire split at this point? It definitely can, which is why we have to be very careful. We all, we had a couple of uh, independent uh, uh, independent attempts. Oh, that's right. We could try and seduce the Pope now if we wanted to. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> uh, what's the Pope's uh, opinion of people? He, we can't seduce him. He is not interested in men. We cannot, we cannot use our manly wiles to seduce this man. He's not interested. No luck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Judgment. Ah, we can either be temperate. We don't want to be cynical. Uh, cynical's okay. It's not great. Uh, we can either be temperate, but more likely we'll just be just. Again, it's a whole stress issue being just, but the stewardship and the learning is pretty good. But hers is an injury. What's her injury right now? Pretty abysmal in the first place. <laughs> Let that be even worse. Fine. People like it when we're just. All right. We just need to get this troop to actually finish walking over here. It's a bit of a long walk, but once we get there, we'll get it. We'll get there. What are we doing in here? Uh, ask for money from the faith? Sure. I don't mean, what, why not, right? We should do something with it. All right, so we have our 80,000 troops against their 2323. It's gonna be really cute. I hope they try and stop us. Uh, our tech de uh, development complete? Yes, we've completely uh, filled out all of our tech tree. Tech tree's completely filled out. Uh, the last boy king got to be both content and fickle. Ooh. Nice. All right, there we go. We'll just go and hit this guy. Uh, crushing this army will give us a 50%. Um, <laughs> what is he doing? Okay. One army left, but the other army is coming into play. It's sure. Why not? Um, if we can defeat their army here, which evaporated and we catch him. See if we can catch them going this way. Uh, if we can evaporate these two, uh, that'll give us our 50% in battle one, uh, which will use this white piece. <laughs> you wish. Oh, you wish we could have a white piece. Oh, you wish. All right, perfect. They're locked in. We should be able to catch them. We'll completely annihilate their entire army here. Gone. Then I'll put our battle uh, capped, our battle one capped at 50, and that means all we need to do is siege one more territory. Actually, we might have to siege two, siege these two. But this one's over. We'll have taken all of this, and that's a huge swath of additional territory we get to add to our kingdom, or our empire, excuse me. We'll go jump on these guys next, and then we'll jump on these guys next, and then we'll jump on these guys last as we try and take all of this land before we run out of time. Again, during our last game, so this is actually pretty good, our last game, we owned all of this territory. Pretty much all this territory up here, <laughs> except for um, Crete and Cyprus, except for the Isles of Crete and Cyprus. All of the territory we don't own in this area is what we owned during our last game. All of this over here is what we owned last time. All we have to do is take this, and then we'll have just taken all of the other part of the map. <laughs> Getting pretty close. So we only have 12 more in-game years. So there's no way we'll be able to manage to take it all. So we'll try and take all of this here. This truce is going to make life really hard for us to take this land. Uh, we'll be able to take another pocket of this. I don't know if we'll be able to take all of it in time. And there's no way we'll be able to take all of Mongolia. Mongolia will still exist by the end of it. We'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. Pause is a rodent killer. Good for pause. Good for pause. First undone. Excellent. Excellent. 
Ah, good morning, Sebom. How are you doing today? Murder time? Yeah, we'll probably have to. Uh, we'll see what we can do, but let's, uh, we'll at least take all of the wars we can easily do right now without having to get me, like, you know, too involved in murder. Right, we'll try and, try and hold them together the best we can. Uh, this is part of this. Which I'm just gonna usurp from them and destroy. <laughs> they don't get that kingdom and title anymore, which now split them into Sicily. Good. Uh, and then you, sir, this is part of this territory. Which, pff, who owns this? You own that? Here, how about we give you this guy? That's not my vassal to give. Okay, perfect. There we go, keeping us at 20. Good. Bam. Oh, look at this map. This map is amazing. So good. Uh, read about this guy yesterday. Uh, that made a one culture run in 44 years? Wait, what? How on earth did he do that? Yeah, also, was he playing Iron Man? How on earth did he do it in 44 in-game years? That's nuts. Ooh, close. Nope, not close. Nope. Better. Nope. What duchy options do we have here? So we can actually see what's going on. Sort that out. Can we get a big chunk of them? No, it looks like the other one's better. Can't do a kingdom war. If we could, I would, but we can't. So it does look like this is... No, not this one. This one, no? Wasn't there someone who had a bunch of them? Yeah, you've got... This is the one we're going to have to do then. Okay, yeah, so this is the war we want. Not this war. It takes a good chunk of this territory. Unfortunately, it doesn't bring these guys in, but at least it gets us close. So we'll go nab that. So that'll be our next war. Uh, we can go here, drop troops here, race troops here. Move on in. Uh, you know he rage quit sometimes, if that's what uh, you're wondering. Ah, okay, then yeah. I'm imagining he did. I don't know. I mean, it, no, Iron Man is like, uh, no saves coming. Uh, Iron Man means no saves coming. So we just want to know if he, like, had to restart his, uh, his speed run there. Go ahead and toss this to someone else. Uh, and you, ma'am. Oh, I can't give it to you. Okay. Uh, who are you under control of? What? A. Uh, who owns this territory? You do. Okay, here you go. <laughs> oh, first things first, demand conversion. Can I? Give him a gift. And I give him this vassal. Can I demand his conversion? 89%. Oh, that's pretty good. Perfect. Uh, has that ever uh, changed your statement today? It's been a great day. Nice. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great to hear that it turned around. Perfect. Especially in such a short time, good gracious. <laughs> I'm glad you got some good news. Good, he's changed. He's changed his mind and decided to see the light. Good, good. Alright, so he's got 22,000 troops to fight us. That's fine. We'll go beat him up later, but we'll go siege from the bottom to the, to the top. These guys, move on over here. Grab these. You get tempted to rage quit in, uh... Uh, in stream sometimes, if you feel it would be cheap. Ah, it, it, you know, you gotta you kind of keep your head on your shoulders. That's that's the hard part. I don't really rage quit, but I but I will, <laughs> I will knuckle down and just uh just railroad straight forward. But I start getting a little frustrated. Optus Prime's doing some crazy nonsense. So I'll just let everyone know that Optus Prime's doing crazy nonsense. That's all. I'm just quickly siege this, and I think that's that. <laughs> They're not actually going to siege us back in time. Okay. All right, if they don't want to give us any opposition, then uh, we'll take what we'll take. 18 days, we'll take this one as well. Go bam. I forgot that today, uh, your favorite streamer uh, made... Oh, nice! Uh, on a server. And made you the king of the jungle, aka 
Best member of the month. Oh, nice. He ended up being VIP. That's awesome. Congrats, man. Congrats, Falco. You did it. Uh, are they going to unseep this in time? Nah, okay. We'll seep this in time. Just need three more points. Three more points, which should be able to get in a... F oh, we did not get a quick siege there. I was so confident, too. <laughs> oh, well. That's the win. All right, give me all that land. That was for someone's claim, so we don't have to do anything, so they own that directly. Perfect. So we'll have to fight them for more land another time. And when we do... Uh, that's a pretty good one. That's a garbage one. And that's a bad one. So it'll be this one. This is the next one we'll do a siege... Uh, we'll do our sieging for, which is, what, three provinces in total? It's not too bad. No, it's four provinces, so that's actually pretty good. Good. You'll, you'll take a game over if it happens, but uh, you am... Uh, you are human. It's true. It's tough. It's tough being human. The world's a tough place to be a human, that's for sure. These are all just your lands. There's no real good claims here. Our vassals don't have great claims in this territory. Uh, we'll go for this one here. Uh, as this only gives us two, and this will give us at least three. Uh, so go to war for that. Uh, Perma, can we grab anything from Perma here? Trade for captives, do a big duchy fight. Ah, good, you actually have it for the kingdom? Good, the kingdom. Not the Empire. We don't want to do any Empire nonsense. We need to go and get more Prestige. Um, so, for me to get more Prestige, I need to make some more titles. I can usurp this. Apparently not. Never mind. You lied to me. Um, I can make more Empire titles, but that's no good. Um, over here, this Duchy. Kingdom? No. Okay. Need to find, let's go find some Duchies. Duchy, Duchy, Duchy. This Duchy. Where is this duchy? Create this duchy. Bam! I made a duchy. Uh, you, congratulations, you now own another duchy title. Ba bam I need to do one more duchy. Uh, this duchy. This is duchy. This duchy's over here. <laughs> Create this duchy. The main seat is this person. Congratulations, you now have this duchy title. Don't piss off your uh, your direct leash too much, but that there go, bam. Uh, and then now we can jump over here and do a war for your claim for the kingdom. Perfect. So we'll take all that territory there, and then for you, let's use digital lands. Does anyone have any claim on everything that's left? You do, but it's a bunch of money or a bunch of prestige. We can do another round. So let's go find some more duchies. Pass the duchies. Uh, to the left hand side. Yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just chucking duchies at people. It's like, hey, do you you own a, you own land? You want a duchy? Have a duchy. It doesn't matter to us because it's going to people that are not in our direct, uh, not directly underneath us. It's going to some of the kings around here. So we can just do this, and it just costs money. It just it only costs money. So where get three hundred prestige. Go. Duchy. Oh, we can't do this one. That's the one duchy we can't do. Because <laughs> we own that territory. There we go. Duchy, duchy, duchy. Nope, not Grand Vassal. Title. This duchy. There we go. I think let's do, like, what, two more? And then we can probably go get that other one. Title. Pass off the duchy. Oh. What? I give it to this guy? Sure. Yeah, yeah it's this whole duchy here. Okay. <laughs> Just he owns the main the main seat. That's all. All right, so I think, is that enough? Is that enough for us to go to war for this, uh, for everything this guy owns? Ooh, nope, we need to do one more. One more duchy. One more duchy build. Ooh, Suppy. All right, Suppy is over here. Good, we can do that. I wonder why we got rid of this one. I feel like we had it at one point. Ooh, we have to demand conversion on this guy. Go, give you this. 
And your conversion. Oh, you have some money too. Convert from your from your heretical your heretical practices. Convert. <laughs> yeah, it's like Oprah with duchies. That's exactly right. And you get a duchy. And you get a duchy. And we get so everyone gets a duchy. We get so much fame that then we can use that fame to go to massive wars. So this war here is going to give us this territory here and this territory here. So all it's going to be left is like this section and this section of this. I think a little bit up here too. Because um, we go to here. Yeah, so all of the stuff in red is what will be left. But all of the stuff in gray and this light blue will be taken in this territory. It's going to be a good, war for, uh, good triple war for us here. A good, good triple war. Rally the troops. Judgment. Ooh. We have to decide. Do we want to be cynical or do we want to be temperate? We'll probably be temperate, yeah? If the conversion cost goes up. Temperate's probably better, yeah? Yeah, small health boost. Yeah, let's we'll go temperate. We've got three more years of age. Three more years of aging. We only get to 16 troops. We don't need that many. Uh, let's move over here and siege this first. Um, and whilst they're doing that, we'll go ahead and we'll just move this up here. And we'll move some troops from here. Nice. Very nice. We gained two monies. <laughs> he gave us two monies from that event that popped up. We'll just keep grabbing a whole bunch of troops here. We'll go from there. A okay, big siege there. Come over here for this one. Go okay, there. Yep, Slim Shady. Playing good old Slim Shady. I think Carcinogen was the one who named us that. All right, so you got 60,000 troops here. We'll just start moving up north. We'll finish the siege and we'll move over. Oh. That's really awkward. Game's auto saving. Come on now. Everyone get back here. The guy we were fighting just died. Um, I guess we'll just move up here next. <laughs> we'll fight this guy in a minute. We'll, we'll start that war a second time. He died. Hold on. Let's just finish up these two wars in the north and we'll jump back down and fight him again for that. Well, that's not awkward at all. That's not awkward at all. Uh, I think you can actually take on China at this size. Oh, I, oh yeah, I'm confident we could absolutely cream China. We have 158,000, sorry, 160,000 potential troops that we can raise. I'm pretty sure we could crush China. <laughs> I have a feeling they would not be able to stop us at this point. Uh, there, there's just no way we can re we can re uh, we can rearm our army so quickly. We would just win from a war of attrition. We would, like we would just rely on wars of attrition versus China. To be honest, if they like came in here and they're like, we're gonna start settling in this territory, we'd be like, well, I mean, you can try, but I keep getting a hundred thousand troops every five months. I don't know what you're gonna do about that. You try your best. You're off to work. All right, take care, Mustani. Have a good one. Uh, and just real quick for anyone who's hanging out in chat here, um, we have a vote for what the next game's going to be after we finish this game here. Uh, the vote is still in the still new. It just popped up today. We just put it together today. It'll be replacing Crusader Kings 3, and we'll be playing it next week. Uh, the vote is there. Vote for all of the games that you're interested in. If you're interested in all of them, vote for your top four. Whatever game gets the most votes wins. Whatever game gets the most votes wins. This is how we decide what game is going to be played next in this channel. That's how we do it here. I have a huge list of games I'm interested in playing, but you guys have to make the tough decision and decide which of the which of the top five I'm interested in will be playing. And then once we finish another game, we'll spin back around. We'll spin back around and do another vote later on. Uh, but we're down to only 10 years, so <laughs> this this run's almost over. Uh, but whatever game is uh, the vote wins for will be next week, not today, not tomorrow. Um, we'll just uh, we'll go and play our, our in-betweener game uh, once we finish this here. I actually didn't expect us to get... Uh, I actually thought we weren't going to finish today. But at this rate, it looks like we'll probably finish... 
during this time. Uh, during the stream. I didn't think we were going to make it. We, we, like, the stream's been extended, so we still have, what, two and a half hours? Plenty of time. Badger went and extended the stream, so a lot, a lot longer now. All right, we got 2k points. Uh, we're going for home estates, but it doesn't really matter anymore. Marriage acceptance doesn't matter anymore either. Voted? Awesome. Thanks, Admin Nun. I appreciate you doing so. Also, hi. <laughs> All right, Chris Simpson's name here. Let's get Chris Simpson's name in here. Oh, you named Dura? Cute. Cute name. Uh, instead, Chris Simpson's name, a paper cut between the fingers, a true thorn on our side. This young baby here, a true thorn on our side. Let's go ahead and crush that. Shouldn't take too long for us to finish up this war now. Nice. There we go. Move it on up. <laughs> yeah, no, Vito, I, I have a feeling that... Um... Oh, those are some good picks. Those are some good picks. Because uh, since, again, remember, the vote is going to be live for six and a half days. And we're currently, like, six and a half days from now, the vote will be closed. Um, and there'll probably be, I imagine there's going to be a lot more votes going towards things like, um, was it Fallout and, um, uh, oh my goodness, Admin Nun, thanks for the sub, I really appreciate that. Oh wait, no, Vito, thank you so much for passing that sub to Admin Nun. That's super kind of you, holy smokes, man. Thanks for sharing that generosity with, the, uh, with brand new people hanging out here in chat. That's awesome. Uh, but on Monday, Tuesday, when we were playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord, uh, that's when I imagine uh, I imagine people that watch that will be a little more interested in less of the tactical games. Well, I mean, Bannerlord's still a tactical game, but maybe more like the Fallout 4 or the uh, Stone Shard options. But we'll see. My assumptions have been wrong before. It's true. It has been wrong before. Because you haven't played it? That game looks really interesting. Uh, and we've done a couple of buildery games before. We did um, Banished, and we did Prison Architect, and uh, have we done another buildery game? I feel like we did another another like simulation buildy game. I'm blanking if we have, but I feel like we did. I don't know. Hmm. I'd have to go take a look at the list. There should be a list down below in the description that's relatively up to date. I think it's up to date. Alright, so that's all taken. Perm is now within our empire. Excellent. Let's move on over here. But yeah, so it'd be nice to go and play some more buildery games. I'm looking forward to that. Oh my goodness, hello and welcome, Paul. Thanks for the host. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Uh, you can drive the jeeps? Ooh. You can drive the jeeps in Jurassic World? Interesting. Okay. So you can get, like, up close and personal with things. Also, what faction are we dealing with? Whoa, okay. We have an independence faction again. That's not good. Uh, can we... How do we get to for... Let's just bribe people. <laughs> bribe them off. Go bribe them off. Uh, Paul, welcome, welcome. Um, Paul, there is a vote for what game is going to be taking over Crusader Kings. There's a vote for... Oh, I see how that works now. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but there's a vote for uh, what's going to be taking over next week. So please go ahead and vote for all of the ones that you're interested in. Not just one. All of the ones you're interested in. If you are interested in all of them, don't vote for all of them. Because that's the same as not voting at all. Uh, instead, vote for your top four. Vote for your top four or, your, or less. Don't vote for more than four. Vote for as little as you wish. All the way down to zero if you want. And if that's the case, might as well vote for all of them. <laughs> yeah, let's just go and pay these guys off and see if we can get any of them to change their minds since this is going to happen imminently. How do they have? How on earth they have more troops than us by this much for independence? That's not good. We're going to have to do an independence war for the very end. That's going to be brutal. So you've never played Fallout 4? Correct. Uh, we streamed Fallout New Vegas uh, two years ago, and all of the VODs for Fallout New Vegas has now finally made it onto the YouTube channel. So... All of those are there now, uh, if anyone wants to watch our uh, Fallout New Vegas run. It's with an older microphone and whatnot, so it's a little, little, you know, lower quality. 
Also, I was a little more tired back then because I streamed, like, within 30 minutes of getting home from work. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't manage to stop this in time. Brutal. We cannot hit this button. Okay. There's only four people that are actually at war with this here. So that's nice. Uh, where are... So here, 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 and here. Okay. We'll sort them out in a minute. It is an independence war, so we can't let them sit for too long. But I want to finish this war for all of uh, Pelham as quick as we can. Um, now uh, the Subnautica playthroughs are now being put up onto the YouTube so those are starting to those are starting to get uh, released. But Subnautica played through. That was a really fun one too. I really enjoyed Subnautica. That was a good game. I'm looking forward to like, is Subnautica below zero out of early access, or is that still in early access right now? I'm gonna wait until that thing's out of early access before we put that into the voting list. If you pass out watching you, then good night. <laughs> no worries. Sleep well. Whether that be uh, just make sure you're comfy. Just make sure you're comfy. You can always hire Mercs. Uh, I would, the hard part about mercs, though, is that because of um, our setup and who we are, we can only get 7,000 and change troops out of mercs. It, it just doesn't really do much when we're running around with a thousand, with 150,000 troops. It doesn't do much to it, unfortunately. Right, so we should be able to quick siege this. I just want to get this war done before we go and deal with the independence. As long as the independents don't hit 50% before we finish this war... Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I don't have to say anymore. There you go, done. Uh, as long as it didn't hit 50% before we finish this war off, we were going to be fine. We'll be able to turn them around. Oh, you're watching a 40-inch TV in bed right now? Nice. Trying to keep it down. Uh, so ref doesn't beat you up? No, that's probably a smart move. <laughs> well, cool. All right, so let's see. Where are we? Who's the leader of this, and where do you live? Where do you live, leader of this group? Here. Really? I see. Hey, Admin Nun, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. Oh, so actually here. Oh, north of Jerusalem, I see. You've been in war-torn territory. No wonder you're pissed at us. Yeah, there's been a lot of wars up here. Sorry about that. All right, so go ahead and raise all of our troops here. We'll just go siege all this territory. Um, we'll get the... We'll probably just go for a white piece, because again... We got nine years left. Do what we can. We'll do what we can. All right, 44,000 troops and a bunch that can end up rising up afterwards is probably fine. I'll start moving in here and start countering them before they end up getting their, uh, that number goes up too high. We have to go and take their capital to stop this from climbing. So we're gonna wanna siege this and this before we go here so we don't lose troops to attrition by walking into their territory with no supply lines. Uh, coming of age, we're an adult, yes. We are an adult. Completed our studies in warfare. Excellent. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and focus in diplomacy, funnily enough. Um, even though we just went and got warfare's focus. Uh, sound the horn. We're going to go on a hunt. Get our stress down to zero. That's important. Go ahead and get a council member. We need some more steward action. Uh, just for more development, which uh, the reason why we're doing development is so we can get more troops from our uh, from our home, home turf. Uh, the whole point is strictly for that. Inheriting titles, none of that matters. Oh, we should take some concubines. She's 83. Uh, we're not going to take her. Uh, Bumblebutt? Yeah, let's go take Bumblebutt here. Get her uh, Get her in as a concubine. Uh, we'll grab this prisoner as well, because she's also got some really good stats. And she's 40, so we might be able to get one to three kids out of her. Uh, oh my goodness, we can do bubbles. We can do our, our religious... We... Sorry, dear wife of mine. I need to go to uh, to service real quick. Wink. <laughs> I need to I need to have a, a religious service. Wink. Uh, get that sorted. The canaries? Yeah, we own the canaries over here. We took the canaries. We got them. We got them. We got them. Right, where were we? We're fighting down here. All right. Did you say that your body is a temple? It's true. <laughs> These are, these, are, these are true points. There we go. Good. We need to get as much prestige as we can if we want to keep up our aggressive warmongering. Uh, Hook is expired. Doesn't matter. He's in jail. I don't care. The King of Kong can just sit there forever. Alright, so we just need to take one more territory here and then we can uh, put ourselves in white peace. We don't have to worry about it. I don't see a reason for us to fight all the way to the end since there's only eight years left of us uh, conquering the world. We just need to focus on taking as much land as we possibly can. Okay. 
Uh, labor, label them as a trader. Whoa, what happened? Took some of the land. How dare they? Okay. Well, once we take this here. What? What war were they in? I don't know. Once we take this here, once we take the, uh, the capital, that'll swing this around. Defender controls territory, that's good. Uh, now you just need a uh, Blossom and Buttercup. You're right, because we have bubbles. It's true. It's true. Um, and then, of course, we'll have to find some Chemical X around here to go get those two up and running now. Finish that battle. Alright, siege this. Oh, we'll just take over that siege. <laughs> Let me just borrow this siege, please. Thank you. Let's go white piece this independence war. Perfect. Let's disband our armies. And... Who's ready for a brand new war? I know I am. To... Ooh, someone else has gained some extra territory for us to fight for. I actually think I'll take that then. Uh, Patrol can marry. Perfect. That's with our wife. Is she any good? Yeah, she's still pretty good. I'll take her. I'll take her. I'll take her. Going on a pilgrimage? Yes, please. Where? Where's the most expensive spot? 600 bucks? Sold. We'll go on a pilgrimage while we go to war. Um, because there's nothing else that's better here, yeah? Ooh, there's a bunch of extra claims. More claims than before. Not really all that great. Alright, we'll siege all Dijer lands now that we own uh, Perma up here. Go ahead and we'll try this a second time. Uh, this time instead we'll actually start down here. And we'll siege through the territory that we're fighting for. We'll just get ourselves to like eh, 30,000 or something. Maybe 40,000. Go from there. Nice. Uh, that's where you're from. Please take care of your family. No worries. Will do. See, what we're doing here is we're ensuring that we remove any kind of tyranny. All these tyrannical rulers will step down under our protection. We believe in equality here. We, we believe in do right to your neighbors, and your neighbors will do right to you. That's how that's how our religion follows, right? Um, sacrificing humans, normal. Eating humans, normal. Warmongering, normal. Everything is equal. See, that's what's important. That's what's important. <laughs> that's exactly what's important. Um, I gotta say, though, one of the things that's been really, really useful here is having... Um, Making it where, where is it? Uh, male adultery is and female adultery is criminal has helped us so much during this run because it just means we throw so many people into jail because the guys literally can't keep it in their pants. It's amazing how many they just keep, like they just can't. They just can't. It's like not frowned upon. It's just, it's just bad. I'm not giving away my cat, what? That sensitivity? Oh, it's to our, it's to our wife. Eww. Our wife is allergic. That sucks. Uh, I guess we'll give it to her. What's well, loaded to cats? Unfortunate. Definitely, that was definitely an oversight during the uh, the application process for uh, ordering a wife. That's not good. <laughs> hmm. I thought you had good genetics. Don't you be breeding that into our family? We don't need that in here. Is this a city? It says barony. Can't see it though. Let's go to this one then. The county of Or. Keeps this bad boy down. Come on now. Good. Oh, hello? Uh, no. Yeah, become friends. Yes. Uh, and then let's move on to the next one, down here. And then we'll siege north from here to the capital. And that'll be our win. What do you got for me? Host a feast? Yep, let's have people like us. So we got here. We have a new son. Ooh. He's not fecund. Bubbles didn't have a fecund son. Oh, he's the heir, so you know it's important. Alright. Bonzi buddy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> he's he is the heir to the to the kingdom now. Uh, what's happening? Oh my goodness. Uh, sorry if I'm going really fast on this. We're just at the end game and I really know what, I'm, what we're up to. We're just doing mass conquest right now. So what, so quick rundown here is, uh, we started right there, right where the cursor is. We started with that county right there. 
Uh, and we've expanded all the way out through <laughs> all this. Uh, and right now, the objective is to war as much of this territory that I've got boxed as we can um, before we run out of time in eight in-game years. Because then that's the end of the game. In eight in-game years. So we're trying to siege as quickly as we can. Oh, we've got another sun. <gasps> A giant. Ooh. Ooh. And we're all out of names. The name list is empty. Um, yeah, thirsty. We'll go pay merchants. It's fine. We'll take it out of our own pocket. No worries, no worries. Siege that. Good. Uh, from here, let's move up and actually battle them, and then we'll take the capital, and then that'll be a win. Since we now own uh, two of the provinces that we're currently fighting for, this is the third province up here. Uh, so we'll go here, fight here, grab this, and go up here if we have to. But it should be faster if we just kill these guys off and then jump there. You always name Giants Andre? Nice. I'll have to mean Andre the Giant is a very famous giant. True. How tall was he? How tall was he? I actually don't remember how tall Andre the Giant was. I cannot recall. Alright, we'll just completely stomp these guys into the ground. Bam and bam. We'll unseach this. And actually, nah, it only gives us 3.6. At least 5 feet tall? Probably at least 5 feet tall. <laughs> I think you're right on the money there. He said he was at least five feet tall. Call. Uh, he was built at seven three. Jeez. Uh, but he was actually closer to uh six eleven seven four. I think it depends because again, especially once you're that tall, especially when you're that tall, um, you're gonna be there's gonna be a significant height difference in the morning when you wake up versus in the evening after a full day of walking around and beating up your spine, because when you're that tall, your spine can compress a lot. There we go. Big victory. Gain lands. Perfecto. Okay. Shrinking them down a bit. Uh, let's jump over here. Can we get back into these guys for another war? No, not yet. We still have a truce. What about you guys? Can we go fight you guys for a good chunk of territory? Not a good chunk of territory. <laughs> Uh, anyone have any good claims? No, 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 no. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Look at all this land. Absolutely. You want You have a claim for this territory? No worries. We've got you covered. We've got you covered. We're on the... We're on it. Oh, that's a good one. It's a really good one. Uh, we'll siege our way over to their capital here. Wait until we have maybe 30,000 troops. I want to make sure we have plenty that we can go quick sieging like crazy. Ooh, maybe we have to slow down. Hold on. What kind of faction do we have? Oh, no, it's just peasants. We can ignore it. We can completely ignore it. We'll get to 50,000 troops. 50, or 57. It, they got... They joined too fast. Uh, the picture of him holding a soda cannon is incredible. I don't know that one. That's, that's got to be pretty funny, though, because his hands were huge. I mean, as to be expected. A life without pause. Aw, she's happy, but we're sad. She's happy, but we're sad. Yeah, let me pour some more tea here real quick. Thanks. Keep our tea nice and topped off. Okay, let's move on down here next. 14%, so it'll be 14, 28, 28, 46. Because we get uh, 14 plus 10. This is the capital. Plus if we can get an heir. Your heir is 14 years old. Perfect. So then that'll give us 50%. So that'll be the win. If we can take this and this, uh, we'll get close to, if not completely have the win. Might have like 94, 96%. Uh, yeah, huge hands, huge feet, huge head. Uh, and very broad chested. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be expected, right? <laughs> All right, okay, so grab that. Here's our 24%. Let's move on over. Well, I guess we can, let's go just fight these guys real quick. Can we catch them? 
No. <laughs> Too fast. Uh, the 1,659 troops are a lot faster than our 57,000 troops. Oh. They, they picked uh, the wrong time to raise their 9,000 troops. That was really bad. We just got 25% there. So that means this should be a victory just by taking this territory. Because we should get his um, we should get his son, his eldest son here, uh, during the siege. There we go. So the son gave us 50%, uh, and the actual siege gave us 14.4, uh, and the capital gave us an extra 10. So we got 24.4 from that and 50% from that. There we go. A quick and easy battle. Blam! Wow, we're getting a lot more territory than I thought. We're going to have some really good claims. Some. <laughs> some some really good claims. No claims for this territory at all? Impressed and disappointed. Yeah, this one here, we're going to have to wait for a vassalization, which I'm hoping we can get down to, but I don't think we, have, we might not have the time for it. Um... All these truces. Can I fight you yet? Still have a truce. Uh, we'll come to the north then. There's no good ones for us to fight. Hmm. How much longer of happiness do we have? Uh, seven, seven years. Seven years, Badger. Seven years. Wow, we we're actually really chiseling this thing down like crazy. I guess I'm going to have to, unfortunately, just go with the... the oh, okay. We're just going to have to go with the smaller wars than I wanted. Uh, yeah, let's go with Holy Wars. All of our options for Holy Wars? What for Duchy Wars? Is there a good chunk of Duchy that I can grab? Mongolia here? They're all pretty evenly sized. None of them are, like, awkwardly huge. Alright, so I think we'll just Holy War for this southern one here. Holy War for this. Alright. Down here, we'll take this part of Mongolia. Oh, nice. Uh, ah, it doesn't include their king, uh, their capital close, but not quite. You can convert the save to E4 to continue. Uh, not to uh, Crusader Kings 3. You can't convert Crusader Kings 3 games to E4 yet. At some point, I imagine we'll be able to. We'll get there. It's not really been doing any fabrication of claims. It's just been spanning via religious wars. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, you're doing a run where you can't fabricate claims? Yeah, so all I'm doing, I just did this. I just reformed our faith and gave us Warmonger. Because then, um, not necessarily the Holy Wars like we just did, which this does give you Holy Wars, right? Um, you can do uh, Invasion Cast Spell you want for Lifetime. Uh, you can do this, the Conquest Holy uh, ones here. And then because of... Yeah, no, this gives us both uh, Holy Wars... Uh, and um, and standard conquest. That's what we've been relying on. We got no one in the list, so we'll get a good old random person here for this daughter. Do that uh, paradox announced that they're dropping some features for CK three soon. So maybe oh oh really? Well, if they can't, I mean, I'm gonna keep the save. I'm not getting rid of the save for any reason. I see no reason to. If that's the case, then that would be really fun to do. I've not played EU4 yet. We, will, we do need to play EU4. It will end up on the vote list soon. Hey, Noah, thanks for the follow. Welcome. How are you doing today? Uh, did you see that CK3 now has a Bannerlord integration mod? I, yeah, someone was talking to, about that yesterday during uh, during the Bannerlord. Because uh, we were playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord yesterday, and someone mentioned that. That someone is uh, putting together an integration mod for that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. One month for rebels. Okay, rebels. <laughs> it's gonna be one county that's gonna be pissed off. I think I even know the county. It's gonna be this one, right? You know, I have 100% control. Who's pissed at us? This one's probably pretty pissed. I'm gonna pass.
pass this off to some random person here. You take care of this. Hey, you sort it out. Did I get it wrong? Alright, which county is it? Yep, yeah, that was the one. <laughs> you you sort out that uh, that rebellion. I'm not dealing with it. That's not my problem anymore. Bam. Dealt with. Got a new son. Uh, Kodama. Ooh, it's a good name. I like that name. Young Kodama, prepare yourself. Uh, oh, it already works? Seriously? That's crazy. Works sleepless nights. Uh, working on the mods. Oh my goodness, that's crazy though. I mean, that's that's awesome having a... Um, like having a Crusader King style uh, set up for Mountain Blade. That'd be really cool. How's it going, Stormy Snow? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, you see this close to the end? Yes, it is. We're trying to take as much as we can here. We're currently jumping on Mongolia. See what we can get. Um, but Stormy Snow, it is time for you know what? It's time for the vote. So right there, we've got that link to the uh, to the votes. Uh, vote, you know, as you know, vote for all of the ones you're interested in, not just the not just one, unless you're only interested in one. And whatever game gets the most votes wins. And the vote will be uh, running for six days. Six days and change. Um, so, 6 p.m. PST next Wednesday, one week from today. Um, so, what? Six days and 18 hours? <laughs> It'll The vote will end, and whatever's in charge, uh, whatever's in, at, the, at the lead wins. But we've got plenty of time for that to be uh, flipped over on its head, so don't, don't take it lightly. You never know. Monday, Tuesday, that crowd might change it around. Never know. Lifestyle perk. Perfect. So we finally got one lifestyle perk. Run our way. Charge. Lifestyle perk thoughtful. So yeah, we're not going to get this in time. There's no way. No way that's going to get done in time. That's okay. Uh, we need to get our siege commander in charge here. Why don't we have someone with uh, military engineering? There we go. Military engineering, ba bam, get in there. Uh, you feel bad seeing a Bethesda game getting that many votes, getting a small number of votes, and you know it's it is. It is. I actually haven't checked the, the results so far. Uh, is Fallout 4 just not getting many votes? It's getting a good number of votes. It's in second place currently. Currently in second place. Okay. You're just not happy with Bethesda right now. I know a lot of people aren't. You wanted in last place? Okay, I understand. I understand, <laughs> I understand your point. Of, I, I, I understand. Don't you worry. I get you. Um, but I mean, I like the I like the Fallout franchise, which is why it's on the list, and clearly many others do too. I'll go get some more water as well. For that while we wait to move on over and start taking stuff from the capital. What's this? Um, he's hosting. Ah, good. He's happy with he's happy with hosting one of our uh, dignitaries. He's heard good things about us. Looking over. Where's the? Okay, the baronies right there. Grab this. Uh, what is this? Probably a revolt from something. Peasants. Liberation. Good gracious. Um, well, now that we have Thoughtful... Oh, we can blackmail you. Get him, get him blackmailed. <laughs> there we go. Solved. What, what liberation faction? Oh, I'm sorry. Only the one person that's left in here? Drive her off. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, you can join me. We'll have a liberation faction. It's going to be amazing. And I'm just like, um, I know that you've been cheating on your wife. Just thought I'd let you know before I let the rest of the world know. It's like, no, 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 don't worry. It's not, you're, you're my favorite liege. There's no need to change anything. It's going to be fine. Uh, no, today is Irish breakfast tea. Actually, it was my last one. So I think tomorrow uh, will be English breakfast tea or Earl Grey, either or. 
Uh, I think it was one of those. It's really just re whatever T is, like, within arm's reach. Because, of course, I keep T within arm's reach of, the, <laughs> of my desk. Because T is delicious. We should come down here and just crush these guys instead of continuing siege. It'll be faster and more effective for us to do so. So we'll finish sieging this. Come on down. Oh, jeez. Eh, whatever. We'll lose troops. Doesn't matter. We'll still win. Let's get down here and beat these guys up. Uh, that battle will get us what we need. We just need to beat them up a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Not nothing too crazy. A bastard. Unbelievable. What a bastard. Drinking tea is the true way to show loyalty to the queen. I mean, I think just drinking tea is just it's different than people who drink all that coffee, right? Also, it's easier to make tea than it is coffee um, when just hanging out during the stream. Um, princess smell <laughs> something smells. Oof. Uh, well, apparently it's instead named a tie. <laughs> Close, but not quite. Not much better. Not much better. Being raided? Someone's raiding us? How dare they? Wow. They're bold. A bold plan. A bold move. Bold move, indeed. Um, however, Stormy's no, don't don't forget. Uh, I'm drinking Irish breakfast tea, so I feel I don't know if that's necessarily showing loyalty to the queen. It's uh, it's not it's not really uh, under her jurisdiction. But tea is is definitely fancier. We'll do that. The agreement's perfect. This guy. Track these guys down. Come back here. <laughs> They're running away. Come back here, you. Hopefully they stop at this barony. Nope. No, they aren't. Hopefully we can catch them. They are going into... Oops, someone's got a murder plan. We'll go ahead and we'll start doing mass blackmailing in a moment here. Come on. Come on now. We can catch him. I believe. I believe. Come on, men. Move it. Move your legs. Run. Just grab one of them. There we go. Grab them both. Even better. Lamb. And that is a victory. Good. Disband the troops. Um, I own this land for reasons. Uh, found a holy order. No. Not important. Council's doing what it's doing. Alright, let's go ahead and... Is this military? Is everything fine here? Good. Alright, let's go back here. Let's go down here. Grant this to some random person. There you go. Grant this to some random person. And grant this to... You guessed it. Some random person in court. You, sir. Congratulations, you own land now. I will deserve this. And we'll give it to you. Recently gained territory. Here's this. This is part of full Mongolia, so that's fine. So instead we'll go ahead and we'll uh, check you some cash. Grant you this vassal. And demand your conversion. <laughs> Convert to the one true faith. There we go. Um. Come out and fight you. <laughs> Come out and fight me like a man. That's exactly right. Alright, she's converted. Good. Uh, we can't fight them yet, right? Oh, we can! <gasps> Did anyone get any better claims in the meantime? No, it's the best we've got for these. Bummer. And right, we'll start this war. What we're looking at over here, I still can't. The truce. This one over here, I really was hoping we could get more territory first, but we'll do uh, this one and this one together. Let's get this war done here first. Uh, we're just going to go grab the capital when we move south. Go this way. There also, real quick, in fact, down here, to whom, where our mother is, and we're going to revoke. What? How did you end up getting these? I 
How'd she get all this extra territory here? How'd she get that kingdom? What? <laughs> okay. Give me this. Give me that back. Thank you. We have too many duchies. We do. Uh, we'll drop. What? Duchy of Kevy? Ah, I'm missing some prestige for the, uh, killing the Duchy of Kevy. Unfortunate. That's going to piss some people off. But this way we have more troops. And we're now up to 180,000 troops that we can marshal. That's good. 16,000. We need some more troops in that first. We'll get there. Uh. Good. There we go. 40,000 troops. Move them on it. Uh, well, let's move them here. Uh, let's make sure we have our Siege Lady. Oh, Siege Man. Excuse me. I don't know what happened to Siege Lady. Siege Man can do it. I'll go grab some... Oh. You don't like me? Here. What if I give you 225 bucks, and then you give me 750 bucks in return? Work? Work. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. That works for me. Uh, we have too many duchies, so I do need to get rid of some. Let's go make a duchy real quick. Uh, create a title. Find a duchy. Create a duchy. Congratulations. Not revoke. Grant. Duchy. Uh, give money. Demand conversion. F only 42%. Yikes. All right, um, and then heavy. We go ahead and we delete it. There we go. But we don't have people angry that we have too many duchies. Okay. Trait did he gain? Being pregnant. It's a good trait to get. Oh, he joined us. Good. Good for him. A smart man indeed. Move here, fight them, and that should be the end of the war here, I think. Yeah, 75, uh, 74%. One quick battle, and that's a victory. And we can go on to the next one. <laughs> we're, we're in the we're in the final final steps here. Got a lover. Oh, actually, yes, right. We need to go and do a bunch of blackmailing. Blackmail you, but oh, good gracious, this person's on a murder rampage. Look at this, he's trying to murder three, he's murdered three people. <laughs> he's murdered three people. You have two lovers. I think you're in jail. You're just a deviant. It's not too crazy. Uh, you've murdered someone and you're a non believer. You have a lover, you've got a lover, you've got a lover, you've got a lover. <laughs> Oh my goodness, attempted murder on two on one person and actually murdered two people. An illegit two illegitimate chi children and a lover. You're two illegitimate children with your lover. It's against our religion. You can't do that. Two illegitimate children? You're not even with a lover. Good gracious. Oh, we get stressed because we're lawful. Well, this can get awkward. I forgot about that. Expose his lover. Let's wait and see where our stress stops at. Oh, I just died. Okay, well that's awkward. <laughs> I just killed ourselves from stress. I just, I just, I, we just died from stress. Oh, we just, we just had it. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> Uh, whoopsie daisies. Can I, by any chance, pass a law before that happens? Give me a gift real quick here. Can I, can I pass a law before that happens? I'm missing some. Hold on. Uh, before we, before we actually die, let me go ahead and make a. <laughs> sort of like, hold on a second. Before we die here, let's see. Can we go ahead and um, fix this up real quick here? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't believe that happened. I completely forgot that we were just whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> it's amazing. 
That's so funny. What's even funnier is that I'm actually just gonna make um, some territories and pass these territories off. Um, is it this one here? Let's just uh, close this for now. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna make some decisions before we die. There you go. <laughs> Hide this in the corner down there. Good. Um, we need to make at least one more duchy. Let's go make another duchy real quick. Where's this duchy? Duchy's over here. Create the duchy. Bam, there's a duchy. Go over here to this person who's on the seat of the duchy territory. Bam, here you go. Here's a duchy. Yep. Bam. Go. Let's go and uh, let's take a look at our kids real quick here. Um, you are pretty good, but you're not a giant, unfortunately. What's our youngest? Pretty good. He's fecund. Are you not fecund? You're not fecund. Oh, well, maybe we actually do want our youngest to be in charge then. Okay, we don't want to change it. Uh, we'll just be a zero-year-old for a bit, I guess. <laughs> uh, or it can be a three-year-old. Yeah, we can be a zero-year-old. That's fine. Ta-da! We're a zero-year-old. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> uh, that's really funny. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, it's our last word. <laughs> our last word's like, oh, that's awkward. I got this weird feeling in my head. Dies. Whoops, the daisies. Just downloaded CK2 to try it before buying CK3. But uh, how do you play it? You don't know anything? CK2 and CK Crusader Kings is a very complicated game. It's a very complicated game, uh, Shimon. Also, welcome. How are you doing? Um... Yeah, he abandoned his mortal coil at twenty years uh, at twenty years of age. He died of unknown causes. A man of unparalleled power, he finally found an opponent that he could not overpower. Stress. Uh, he ascends to the throne, the possession of fabulous riches. Yeah, there's nothing else you can really talk about him. He's uh, he's a zero year old baby. Um, let's see. Jeez, tips and tricks for Crusader Kings two. Uh, always be fabricating a claim on someone, but don't always press the claim unless you have enough money to keep yourself out of debt. Um, ensure to focus on upgrading your hometown territory as much as you can, uh, predominantly focusing on money gain, more so than troop gain. Always have enough money on hand to hire at least one mercenary in the early game. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> We haven't played Crusader Kings 2 in a while. Not too sure. Um, Crusader Kings 3 I could probably give you a bit of a better rundown on. It's okay. It's got, we're going to be four years old by the time we finish this run. That's just really funny, though. I completely forgot we were just... We are not allowed to do that. Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie dipsie daisies. So it goes. There we go. We're back in charge. Off we go. Get a duke level or higher so you can get... Uh, oh, yeah, so you can get research. That's very important. Yeah, yeah. You definitely want to get research as soon as you can get it. It gives you a big advantage. Good. Done. Spanish troops. There we go. Land acquired. Land acquisition. Done and done. Clams. Pitiful claims. <laughs> is this more than one? No, it's just one province. We can go for duchies then. So we'll go for this whole duchy over here. I'm gonna remove this section. We'll just shave off the their capital. Get their capital off here. You wanna try vanilla first? I don't blame you. Um, just trying vanilla first is going to be uh, duller, but uh, it's gonna be easier to pick up early on. Yes, just throw your spy master when you know that you're, no one's trying to kill you. If no one's trying to murder you, put your spy master in Constantinople to steal research. Always. Just always. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's that's definitely what you want to do. Uh, it helps speed up your uh, tech game a lot. And that tech really, really matters. Uh, CK2 Irish Tutorial is a great learning tool. Yeah, uh, playing your first game in Ireland is a really good way to go. Um, your first game to play in Ireland is really, really good to play as Desmond down here. Uh, or whoever whoever owns this one. This one right here. This spot. 
that spot right there. That's who you want to start as. I'm going to start as this guy. Because uh, he owns two territories uh, in CK2. I think he starts with uh, here and here at the very beginning. Uh, yeah, he's playing vanilla, so there's no Viking Age. So he'll be starting in uh, 1066. Yeah, yeah. Since he's, uh, since he's playing vanilla CK2. Uh, Russian military organization for big retinues, if you're tribal. Yes, that's really good. Legalism Tech. Yeah, you need Legalism Tech 3. 100% Legalism Tech 3 is the most important thing you can get so that you can get uh, primogeniture so you don't end up losing all your territory. It's an absolute pain. Ireland's quite safe. Uh, you shouldn't get any issues from France or Spain for a while. Yeah, England will kind of buffer you from France and Spain, which is pretty good. Uh, but that's like the best place in Ireland to start. Um, uh, also, Shivan, if you go to, um, if you go to the about, is this the about page? No, if you go to the main channel page, uh, to my main channel page here, uh, and you scroll down to the bottom, uh, there are two streamers that I have, uh, that I advise people to also check out, um, McConnell TV, who's awesome, plays, uh, a lot of EU4, for example, um, and then Enigmatic Rose. If you go to her Twitch channel, uh, Enigmatic Rose's uh, channel, you can then find her uh, YouTube channel that she's also got uh, linked there. Her YouTube channel has a whole bunch of CK2 tutorials. Uh, she'd be a great person to learn from. Uh, she's She plays uh, Crusader Kings and other Paradox games as much as I do. Actually, more so at this point, I think. I think she's played some more than I have now. Uh, since she's also done Imperator Rome. Uh, she's done Imperator Rome, uh, the Crusader 2 and 3, Crusader Kings 2 and 3, and uh, Stellaris. She'd be a good person to, to go and watch for tutorials. She's made a handful of tutorial videos for YouTube. I think his Dublin is also good. Uh, really neighbor is your dad and his heir. Ah, uh, and you're his heir. Nice, yeah, so you can take it over afterwards. Yeah, yeah. You don't know if McConnell is good to, uh, is going to be streaming anymore. Yeah, I don't know what's going. Like, McConnell's got a lot of life stuff going on at the moment. Um, but when he streams every now and then at random, sometimes, uh, or at least he has every now and then. Well, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, but Enigmatic Rose is slowly coming back into streaming again. She'll get back into it at some point. Uh, but she's got some great YouTube uh, tutorials to take a look at. Walks you through it. Because uh, she's done, she does a lot of uh, achievement runs, uh, so she's pretty, pretty darn good at the game. Someone's trying to murder us. I mean, it's fine. If we end up dying, we, we've got a whole bunch of siblings to take over, and we only have to survive four years. We're not too worried, right? We're not too worried. Okay, this war is over. Give me that land. Dismiss the troops. Perfect, that war is done. Uh, can I war you yet? I can. Can I war you for anything good? It's okay. It's garbage. It's... Only one, that's garbage. Uh, how much... How many territories? That, that They're all garbage, it's just one. Okay, so go by Dutchie then. Uh, so we actually take, what, four? It's pretty good. Uh, what are the other options? North, South, Central? I think we'll just take Central. What, one, two, three, four? No, it's also four. The steps? Oh, it's over here. I'll take this one, then. This is four, but it's a little more consolidated for us. We'll grab these four next. Continue to expand, everyone. Continuing to expand nonstop. Go, go, go. All right, let's go drop this land. We don't need this anymore. Actually, we don't... Not anymore. We just don't want it at all. <laughs> Get out of here. Drop it off to people that don't have claims. Drop this off to Claims. Oh, I want to hold on to this. Yeah, I don't know. We hold on to all these. Actually, speaking of, is there any more f upgrades for us to do? Yeah. Don't know how useful it'll be, but I mean, we still have 40,000 gold. <laughs> we should spend it on something. What should we spend it on? Things that make us more money. Why not, right? Oh, why do we, why do we own this? I don't want this. Give this give this to someone. I don't want this land. This land's gross. It's actually a pretty good spot right here, but 
Um, it's not beneficial for us expanding our, our foothold here. Because we want all of our territories that we own all adjacent. We can help it. It always just makes it easier to defend. Okay. Where were we? That's right, right over here. All right. Raise the troops, prepare, and let's go. Also, who did we lose? We lost our chancellor. That's not good. We need a chancellor to make sure people like us. Good. Perfect. Drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. What kind of faction are we dealing with? Oh! No! <laughs> that's bad. Oh, that's really... Really bad. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> um, they almost have 400 times our troops. That's not awkward. Uh, I guess we're just going to finish this bat this war here, and we're going to deal with a uh, independence and a liberation war. So the liberation war... Do we want to give in to the Liberation War? Liberation War is a lot of territory. It's, 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 this is a Liberty War. So you know what we're probably going to do? Because they've got... They have a lot of troops. There are uprisings here. Because this is Independence. So people in the Liberty War can't also be in the Independence War, right? Right? I'm pretty sure they can't be in both. Yeah, so they can't be in both. So we're going to wait until the Independence War starts. And then we're going to give in to the Liberty War. Because all they want to do is just bring our Crown Authority from Absolute to High. And then with that, we'll be able to keep pushing. That's what we'll do. Because <laughs> we gotta keep we got to keep everything together. There it is. I will not be threatened. All right, so now if we look at the map, ugh, this is really bad. <laughs> All right, so this is who's trying to go free. They wanna, they wanna leave. This is the group that's trying to. If we, thirty wars disbanded, we surrender. Uh, Crown authority is reduced by one step. Uh, oh, we also owe them all a favor. Oh, that's bad. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll blitz them. Where is their... We'll blitz them for a white piece. Where's their capital? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Capital is here. We don't have any easy ways to, s to march troops. Actually... That's awkward. Our troops are in enemy territory now. It's really awkward. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with the uh, casualties because we just suddenly appeared in the middle of enemy territory. Yeah, what a poor babby, right? Uh, so let's get this. This, You know, I think we have to deal with the Liberty War. I don't think I have any choice. All right, so Liberty War. So otherwise, if we can just get ourselves 15% positive on Liberty War... We can force a victory on that. I don't think we can. So we're going to just go and surrender our Liberty War. Right here. So it's just bring down Crown Authority. That's it. There you go. So that's down. Right? Uh, so that gives us a bunch of our terrain back. Uh, but no one has left the kingdom. That's what's important. No one's left the kingdom. This guy, on the other hand, is right here. So his capital is here. So this is where we need to go and siege. Okay. More important than attacking, isn't it? Well, maybe. <laughs> let's just get in here and let's see just stuff down. See what we can do. Um, having Crown Authority go down does mean that we're going to have less troops. We still have a lot of troops, so we still should be okay. So we'll get over here. We'll siege this down as quickly as we can so we have a point to get supplies. Move over here, grab this, hopefully finish this war up in no time at all. Uh, and then we'll move off to go and deal with our independent faction, which is going to spiral out of control pretty quick here. But we'll hold it. We'll hold it nice and tight. I think we'll be fine. 
Yeah, the baby did not ask for this. This, this is all because I overstressed us. This is all because I overstressed us. What is this? Oh yeah, they're gonna have. They're gonna start uh, forcing all sorts of nonsense because they've got a lot of hooks. That's fine. Again, we only have to survive three years. <laughs> we just have to survive through three years. Uh, so we're gonna have a lot of these. I have. I have little choice options that keep popping up. That's fine. Uh, so they're just going ahead and they're they're best they're being bestowed things, but they're still staying within the kingdom. So that's what matters. So we're gonna beat these guys up. That'll give us a fifty percent uh, war score because of battle. Uh, we'll be able to take this territory here. We'll lower all of our troops in that territory. We'll raise them up towards the enemy uh, capital and crush them. Uh, and then from that, we'll quickly get the independence war done. Little choice. This guy, field of contract, coinage rights, so he's just giving us money and less troops. So we are slowly losing troops because they're asking to for us to demand less from them. It's annoying, but it'll, we'll get there. We just have to catch this guy. Can you stop running? Please? Sir? There we go, got him. We just have to go and defeat these guys, and bam! There we go. Done it done. This land is my land. Perfect. And bam. Pass this off to another guy. Stand still. Or troops. Yep. Alright, so that war is done. Uh, this territory here, one thing we do definitely want to do is make this duchy, usurp this duchy. Uh, give it to this guy here. Duchy, and the reason for that is because our vassal number was getting too high. We've got 30. So we still have our vassal... Somehow our vassal number's gone up, even though we've got less people underneath us right now because of the revolts, funnily enough. Um, we're... Uh, let's see, so we can go ahead and do this. Ooh, so they're all sieging right here. Perfect. Okay, so then we'll, we'll raise our troops from here. We'll raise our troops from here and then run north. We're at 12% loss. So that's, that's not good. Uh, they're slowly going to start winning, uh, and as they start sieging this, it's only going to get worse and worse. Uh, so we need to get ourselves up to about 70, preferably uh, 100,000. I'd like 100,000 if we could help it. Yeah, some people can't be fired from the job. He's really the best person we can have for the job of being in charge of the army. Uh, 50 days. We can wait 50 days. Yeah, pretty much all of our chancellors are... Whoever, whoever paid the, whoever decided to demand the position first, is who's in charge. Disappointing, but it is what it is. This is when it's really good that we have so much money. <laughs> it does not matter. It does not matter. All right, start moving in. We've got one thousand, uh, one hundred and twenty-two thousand troops. We've got a superior commander. We'll just go and crush this army here. Then we'll come over here and siege our way to the capital and finish this stupid little uh, revolt. This puny little revolt. Oh, they they think so highly of themselves. They believe that by some miracle, they'll end up being able to go free. Oh, <laughs> no such thing. No such thing. Battle them into submission. It'll be a close call for this fight. Someone's got a claim for the throne. Awkward. As long as it doesn't press the claim for the throne, it's fine. Yeah, they've sieged a bunch of stuff, which is obnoxious. So they're already up to 36% to victory. Luckily, we're going to beat them in this battle. Boiling Anger. Stress goes down. That's good. Okay, he's only got 14,000 troops there, so it's not enough to go and hurt us. we got to win this thing soon. <laughs> so you can see how fast this is climbing. The problem with Independence Wars is it climbs so quickly. 20% now. So we're going to go and quick siege this, and then we'll quick siege this, and this, and then that, and we'll be fine. Uh, let's go with that one. We have to get over here and move quickly. We cannot lose this war. I refuse to let us lose this war. We have to win this war. We have no choice but to win it. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move our station to here. We'll raise additional troops. We'll move them in. Any additional troops we have, we'll bring them on in. Welcome, wizard. Thanks for the host. How are you doing today? We're struggling to hold our empire together, but we gotta push. 
This is, you're right, this is the final boss. Absolutely right, this is definitely the final boss. Uh, he's a military engineer, right? He is, he is, good, good. Oh my goodness, wizard, and thanks for the raid! <laughs> welcome, welcome, wizard. Good to hear you're doing well. Oh my goodness, this is just rising so quickly. We have to, we have to siege that. We're at 50%, no, come on, unsiege this thing. How much is this? It's been sieged, what territory is this? Zali, uh, I don't even see it on here for what we're getting losses from this. Who owns this right now? Salt quickly. Okay, it saved us 3%, but oh, that's not good. Uh, what does it cost for us to just run straight here? It costs us 4,000 troops, that's fine. A cost of 4,000 troops is perfectly accept acceptable. We just have to get there now. We have to siege it now. If we don't, we lose. We're not allowed to sit around. We can't sit around and muster. Uh, we will continue to muster additional troops and bring any of these spare troops here. Uh, we've got, what, four knights in there, so we definitely want, or champions in there, so we definitely want to need those champions. Those champions together. As soon as we siege this, this thing's gonna turn around quick because A, we'll get, um, we'll probably get about 14, well, we'll probably get about 7% victory on a thing plus 10% because uh, it's their capital, plus uh, this 25% will disappear. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get 40 off of this, uh, off of this lose that we're fighting right now. Um, cancel, lower. <laughs> Got 50,000 on the way. Lower that real quick, please. Quick assault this, four days, there we go. Ba blam Much, much better. Now we can go hunt them down and passively we'll start winning. Dealt with it. Uh, you think Steam Labs is on a crack tonight? Oh, what's it doing today? Look smarter, not harder. Yeah, it could be charming. Charming's pretty good. It gives us the diplomacy we're aiming for anyway. Alright, we just have to beat these guys within a two year span here. I'd like to finish the. I'd like to finish the run with us in full control of our territories. Feeling a little less stressed to get this done, but we can't keep um, rushing down the the battles because of troops. We've got so many here, so we'll beat these guys up. We'll come down here, beat them again in another battle. Go from there. Oh, how much food do these guys have? We're still fine on food. For them. Let's see if that. I said I shouldn't, but you know we still will. Auto saving down here. 33. Yeah, so they're still pushing us back by sieging territory. Uh, where are they sieging this territory? Down here has been sieged a bit. We got Spymaster. Spymaster in here. Yeah, on defense, please. How many vassals? Yep, that sounds about right. Okay. Here we get. Um, is acting slow, hence the host, and then the raid? Ah, I see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's just a lot of activity going on at the moment. Let's go ahead and crush this guy. Doesn't look like he has any friends coming in. Oh no, here is his friends. Will they get here in time or no? Ah, just barely in time. So the battle doesn't end, so we don't end up killing all of his troops. But we'll still beat him, even, with the, even if he funnels all these troops in here. It is slowly increasing as they are still sieging other territory sieging other territories, but we'll get this uh, big battle bonus here. A big battle bonus of 2%. Yikes! This battle bonus is not great. Um, let's get over here. So you go and start uh, anti-sieging. I don't know if we can actually win this. I don't know if I can actually win this. They're sieging us so quickly in other territories. I'm struggling. Hmm. And the biggest issue is if I actually capture the king, who's over here, um, we lose all of this bonus and it'll probably just jump straight to 100%. So I think we just need to actively avoid fighting their king, awkwardly enough. Uh, well, we can go ahead and we can at least pick up these mercenaries. Doesn't hurt grabbing the extra 7k. Drop them in here. 
We're gonna have to go fight them because they're gonna try and take that capital back. We can't let them take it. Okay. We'll siege this and we'll turn around and we'll start beating up these guys. We'll actually go beat these guys up first and then we'll go to the capital second. Again, I'm hoping that we don't take the the king here. We'll see what happens. He is gonna come in and fight. Come on. Come on. Battle of Victories was really holding us up. Alright, how are we gonna do? Okay, fingers crossed. Here we go. You're having an audio issue earlier. So it's just because uh, you're gonna need the stream, but you can hear yourself fine. Oh, you're checking recording. Oh, you just had to reset the stream. Yeah, we had that issue when we raided someone yesterday. Not sure what that was. So, what did I do to lose fame? I don't know what occurred to have us lose fame. Weird. All right, so that's good. So we're just kind of delaying right now. We're by no means winning. We are by no means winning this war. Okay, so we have to find out where these guys, where have these guys uh, managed to take territory so far? We have to unsiege. I need an unsiege team. There's a big sieging team in the north here. Bit problematic. Oh my goodness, this is where it is. Okay, so that's where our problem is. It's in, uh, it's in western India. I can't do much until I keep these guys off of the capital. We don't have a lot of troops in reserve right now. The marshal's good. We might just have to, like, we we might end up just crawling our way to the end of the uh to the end of playtime. We might just be crawling our way to the end of playtime here, keeping ourselves out from losing, slowly sieging everything here. That might just be the way it ends up going. It's, uh, very interesting. Ooh, Augur's got back in. Welcome back to the family. We'll grab you. There we go, good. I completely wiped them off. Did we get any points? Nope, no points. Okay, I'm scooting over here. Come on. Gotta keep on it. Looks like we're slowly getting some progress here, though. Uh, the passive progress here is definitely going to help. This 19 that's constantly getting larger. Definitely going to help over time. Ooh, we have to crush this before they show up. I need more time to have more troops uh, be spawned. Running very low. Uh, fame widely known. Perfect. Okay. What is that? A plus 1%. Good. Um... Can I, when can I do this? I can't. Man, if we still had the Crown Authority, we'd have more troops at our disposal, which would definitely help. Catch any of those guys? No. Nah. We'll just siege this then. Let's keep sieging. We're just gonna keep counter sieging. <laughs> we'll just keep counter sieging. Come on, hold on tight, everyone. If we can have them keep trying to come back and take that, it'll work. Actually, we need to not. Now I'm looking at it. We need to sit around here and just slowly re regain troops. Our troop count's getting a little too small. We're getting whittled down. Again, they outnumbered us uh, three to one. Uh, though our troops are stronger, it's still not good. Okay, let's go over here. Keep battling them. As long as we stay within this territory here, we'll gain how many troops per month? Uh, 7,600 troops per month is our gain rate. So if we just stay within uh, all of this uh, captured territory, all the captured territory here, we'll be okay. We're slowly winning. If we can just get to a white piece. I just need a white piece. We don't have to win. Just a white piece. Hopefully within a year. I'm really hoping we can get a white piece going. Fame level. Okay. Our fame's going up, which is good. That makes people like us more. Dangerous factions. What factions are we looking at? Uh, populist factions are starting to pop up now. Uh-oh. These guys are going to have... They're going to be uh, rev revolting factions as well. That's not good. That's not good. Roll brewing. Okay. 
Uh, Spouse-wise, we find someone who's got a good sum of stats who's like super young, like a child. So we want someone who's at least close to our age. Doesn't really matter. There we go. That one done. Okay, so 9,000. Can we just completely stack wipe them? Yes! Good. Alright. Stack wipes. I need more troops to be regained, though. Because if we can have our troop count go up, it should alleviate the issue of... I mean, this guy's going to be a problem, but it could at least alleviate this problem. We three months to get our troop numbers back up. We might get it. We might get it. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. 21. I'm gaining. I'm really low on supplies, though. 76. How are we looking? Can we at least knock this thing back one month? <laughs> I don't know. Can we get... Uh, can we raise enough troops in that time? To stop this from being from firing. Can we convince you to stop it? If we can get either of these to stop um, what they're doing, that'll fix that problem. Any secrets? No. We haven't been searching for any secrets. If one of them can back off. Or if we can gain a bunch more troops. We scared them off. Count went down. Any time now, though. Well, now. The number's still going down. Ah, yeah, that freedom war started. Oh, well, so it goes. We've got our 82,000 now, though, uh, which means we can continue to push. We're still slowly getting victory on this one. They're starting to peter out in their, in their ability to keep pushing. So if we start sieging like crazy again in this territory, we should be able to finish this war off. We've almost got him. We just have to hold on to our land. I refuse to give it up. I refuse to lose what we have gained. We will not falter. We will not be bested. I will actually have to go cook this guy in the can real quick. <laughs> Can't let him sit there and take that. Especially if he tries to quick siege it. He's coming over here. I'm gonna have to lower these troops and raise them again so we have uh so that our guys aren't starving to death. Karma. <laughs> what a time for that name. Go. Uh but what were you playing today, wizard? What was the game of choice? What were you streaming? Oh my goodness, wait, what? Oh we just cap Oh my goodness, we did it. White Peace. <laughs> we did it. We captured the air. For some reason, the air decided to get himself in a really bad position. Amazing. I lowered the troops. We did it. Oh my goodness, we did it. We have a puny little tiny, teensy, teensy, tiny revolt now. But we've held. We've held. Oh, whoa, what happened here? Ob? The continent of Ob disappeared. We did it. We held on. Oh my goodness, we just barely held on. The cards fell in our favor. Karma just turned out just perfectly right after we had a baby named Karma. Are we fighting for this land here? Go ahead and let's just raise some troops here and beat them up and move on with uh, with life. There we go. 17,000 17, troops. Just walk in here immediately. Beat them up. Appear out of nowhere like ghosts. <laughs> that war's over. Done. Done. Span troops done. Oh my goodness, we managed to create peace before the end. We did it. What faction is next? Two years? We can wait. We can wait for that. And that's it. That's the only one that can fire is this one in two years. Five members. This one. She's a real pain. Ain't she? Not really gonna be able to bribe her off, but uh, we can at least start. Oh, we can't sway her yet. We're not an adult. Brutal. Brutal. Ransom accepted. Ransom accepted. Very nice. Wait, 
Oh my goodness. Bunch of ransoms. Yep, we can ransom these people out. That's perfectly fine, because again, there shouldn't be any wars that pop up anytime soon. So that'll be good. Uh, that's going to do it for you for tonight. All right, take care. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you again next time. See you again next time. I mean, all the all the super excitement, I think, is over. I think I think we've finished the super excitement, and now we're just uh, moseying through the to the end game. I don't know exactly when it ends, uh, but we at the very least need to let our troop count completely grow back to full. More people are trying to claim our throne. It's annoying. Uh, so I'm waiting until we can get uh, our troops back up to full, and then we'll go jump on these guys again for more expansion. A lot of ransoms. I mean, our money's back up to full. It'd be nice if I could get ransom uh, ransom people out and instead get prestige. This bug where they get like a bajillion of them is nuts. <laughs> I can't believe that's still in the game. This game's been out for six months. Is that right? Five six months. Um, and that that bug's still here. Hmm. Steam and courts. All right, so I think we're stable on troops, or almost stable on troops here. So I think it's time for us to go back to wars. All right, how are we doing with factions? All right, perfect. We brought it down. Oh, because we've let our troops gain to being a large enough quantity. Also, look at all the people here that are not allowed to join factions. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's really good. All right, so I think we've waited long enough. We can go ahead and we can start grabbing some of these smaller territories again. Let's go take this county. Let's go grab this little county. Right here. Raise the 17,000 troops that we have. We don't need any more than that. Move them over here. Siege this county. And then we're on our way. We just, like, we just have to take the one county and it's a win. Jump over here. Grab this county. Be done and done. Long assault and bam. Oh wait, there's two. Ah, oh, there's two baronies in here. There it is. Set the siege to the other barony down, and we got it. The guy can't be fired for a while. That's eh, okay. They all have pretty good skills. <laughs> it's fine so long as they force themselves into a position where they're actually good. I don't mind. There it is. Land. This is lower noble can get that one. Pass this off to some random guy here. That's in church. Knock that down. Who next? Because these guys are falling apart, it looks like. They're losing some of the territory they used to hold. Can we'll grab more from you. Go for silver truce. Can I grab more from you? Go for silver truce. Oh, look at this. These guys are falling apart in here. Let's go grab a little bit here and there. This guy. Oop. We can probably go more for you. Yep, for one county. <laughs> more for you for one county as well. Oop, Dutchy. That's awkward. Dutchy. All right. We'll go ahead and we'll try and get these three little provinces here. It's three little counties. There's the troops up. Grab a few. I'll we'll move in. Just any piecemeal parts and pieces we can grab. I see no reason for us not to. Keep on expanding. 20,000. That should be plenty for these tiny little wars. We'll definitely lose some getting in, but once we once we grab one, then we won't run into the same attrition problems. Okay. Get on over here. Let's see if we can grab this guy. Oh, they're already fighting people, so that's great. That's just lowering the tiny troops that they already have. Less casualties on our side. Works for me. Keeps the factions off our back. I do love that. Alright. We start sieging before? Oh yeah, we start sieging while they're still fighting. Nice. <laughs> we'll fight these guys down. Oh, there we go. End of an era. That's it. That's game. That's game, we did it. Oh my goodness, we did so well. Oh, I can't zoom out? Boo. I do dislike that we can't zoom out. 
Well, hopefully everyone saw how large of a map we owned before because we can't zoom out because we're... Won't let us. Uh, we currently have... <laughs> 9,740 members of our family. We played as 20 of them. 186 houses were of a legendary status. The end date of the game has been reached. For centuries, you have followed the dynasty of Derioso, uh, Deriso. And it has grown into a dynasty of legendary prestige, respected by all. Nice. We, yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. New game before stream end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll jump. Don't worry, Sardy K. We're, the stream was extended. We still have more time to stream. Um. Yeah, let's go to main menu. Or we don't? Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> it's, nothing was happening. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no, no, we're done. That's it. It's over. It's over, Roy K. We're done. That's it. It's done. It's all over. Uh, did I break the game by hitting the exit to menu button too many times? Are we going to get a crash? <laughs> I wonder if we will. That's a beautiful picture here. Uh, seeing this does remind me of Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is an amazing game. Really good. Game? Oh, it's not responding. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I crashed the game by hitting the exit to menu button too many times. Whoopsie daisies. We'll give it a minute. We'll wait for program. We'll, we'll give it a quick minute here. We'll see what happens. The loading art's really pretty. It really is. It's gorgeous. Oh, we'll give it a few more, a few, few more seconds here. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's it. We're done. We did it. Success. Amazing. We managed to take over about, not quite, almost three quarters of the map. We took over almost three quarters of the map. That was a really good run. There are a couple of things in there that I could see if we changed up might have been made, uh, made more progress in our expansion. Um, a bit of a difference in the religion, for example, would have been a good change. And uh, instead of doing the cannibalism, there are other options we could have done that would have given us more power. Um, well, there's there's definitely that. But, uh, okay, the, the game's given up. <laughs> Close program. Close program. Close program. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, but that is that. That's it. We're done. We've done it. Success. Concluded. It's over. Uh, so that's it. We're done playing Crusader Kings 3 until some DLC comes out. Uh, we are instead now going to be jumping into our good old in-betweener game, Slay the Spire. Uh, anyone who is still hanging out and has not voted for what game is going to be replacing Crusader Kings 3 starting next week, please use the vote uh, link that I just dropped into chat. Uh, to go ahead and uh, vote for as many of the games that you're interested in watching. Uh, whatever game gets the most votes is the game we will be playing. And we'll go from there. 